Welcome back, Overwatch League fans. That's right, it's the final day of the regular matches here in stage number one. Don Monte Cristo with you for our next match. It's going to be Washington Justice taking on none other than Florida Mayhem. And uh, you know what? This is a match. It is a match. You know, I always like Greek match. tragedies. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, I, neither of these teams are from there, I guess, but, you know, it has been a bit of a tragic scene for both uh, teams, right? Florida, you can see, and Justice way, way down at the bottom. Justice still seeking that first win of the stage for them. They do not want to go 0-7 like the Valiant did, and I think, realistically, today, they do have a shot to get that win. Yeah, jokes aside, I think, for the Justice, at least we saw them on a bit of an upswing yesterday. Right. However, they have truly Ooh. struggled, as we see, Otto here on the end of the line. He's had a rough time, yeah. especially moving from the windless Shanghai Dragons over to now the windless Justice in the offseason. Well, that is the really crazy thing for Otto specifically is that he went from one team that never won to another one that sadly has not gotten those wins either. And uh, it's, it's one of those things where you look at this team and, and the problems, unfortunately, kind of abound. There's really not uh, one specific thing you say, well, if they improve this, you know, but we'll see. If it's going to get it, it's going to be now. Let's give it up for him. It's going to be the Washington Justice. And here they come. Yeah, looking, looking for a win. Now, the Justice have been stronger on control, generally speaking, as a map type. So sure. they have a shot here at putting themselves in the lead to start this series and hopefully able to finish it off in a way that they weren't quite able to complete the win yesterday. Yeah, that's the thing. And they do have a lot of talent on this team, too. It just seems like it's been a struggle kind of getting it all to work together, you know, especially at that main tank role. You see Janus way out in front a lot of times. That causes a lot of team fights to go very poorly for the team. So I think a lot of it is, a big part of it is tightening up that coordination. Yeah, yeah and a lot of it too is just, you know, they need to come out with more team fight wins. They are they are leading the league in the lowest team fight win percentage at 36.4%, and it is about 8% lower than Florida's team fight win rate. So it is going to be an uphill battle. Uh, it's rough, man. But let's introduce our other team in this series. Give it up for the Florida Mayhem. Florida Mayhem, the masters of walking out in season number one in the 2018 season of the Overwatch League. A little bit more subdued this time around as the roster has shuffled a bit. And you look at the names on the back of those jerseys, man, and you do see a lot of good players here. But again, you know, another team that hasn't been able to translate those names into any success. Yeah, and it is, I think, from the most part, Florida is doing okay in team fights. I mean, they're, they're sort of the lower end of middle of the pack, 14th in that team fight win rating, but sure. it's not translating to objectives or actually finishing off, pushing the payload, getting control of an assault point, and that's really what they need to work on. Obviously, we've seen some bright spots from this team, especially as they continue to add players. McGravy, a recent addition, yeah. I think has been a strong, uh, you know, maybe not the strongest even in the league, but I think certainly an upgrade. And right now, he is actually extremely good at the negating ultimates. He's number three out of all divas in the league when it comes to ultimates negated for 10. So if there's a bright spot to negate the gravy, we're to see him sort of dealing with Corey's Graviton surges and making sure the Justice do not get Zarya ults onto the field. True enough, and I think this kind of underlines the biggest difference I see between these two teams in that Florida is a team that's making changes. They're really trying to adjust, find a way to sort of get some wins, whereas we haven't really seen that on the Washington side. But as you take a look at McGravy's stats, he has been an addition that I think could really pay dividends for the squad. Yeah, and like I said, I like the fact that the Mayhem are at least trying to address their issues by right. broadening out the roster, signing some talent from our amateur, our contender scene here in the Overwatch ecosystem. And I think the Justice really need to take that lead. They've got to get some more players on this roster to add depth and find a lineup that's going to work for them. Yeah, fair enough. And, and they're going to have time to do that later on. But today, it's going to be just trying to get that first win. Let's take a look at our map set brought to you by Toyota. Going to start things off on Nepal, then going to Hollywood after that. Volskaya Industries and Dorado will round out our four map set initially. Might end up going to, I believe it is Ilios at the end, if we get that tiebreaker. Yeah, it will be. See if we go the distance with this one. Certainly Florida may have. That's possible. Yeah, going to be coming out yeah. the gates with some Winston-based 3-3 three, three compositions. So three tanks and three supports for both of these teams as we do see mirror lineups of heroes. Here we are on board with McGravy. 
As we get started, teams fighting it out on the high ground as we often see. Both Winston's trying to jockey for position, get that primal rage charge built up. Looks like Florida getting a little bit more aggressive. Trying to live their main main namesake. There we go, namesake. The hardest word to say in the English language. That's going to be Washington responding. They're going to jump in with Giannis early on. He did get stunned. And now the Washington team a little bit separated, but they are over to the point first. And they do get the control percent rolling. Uh, you can see Florida Mayhem here trying to collapse on one of the flanks, but BQB is surprisingly low already. And Corey working on that first Graviton Surge ultimate. You got to be close, man, or uh, careful anyway. Swan. A little bit of trouble too. Now Corey coming in, drops that grab. That's going to be a lot of kills coming up for Justice and a great first fight for them. The reset comes in from the rest of the members of Florida and they will have to go back to spawn. And so much of that was the speed at which Corey got the Graviton Surge. You can see BQB in the top right corner of your screen, only 73% of the way to that ultimate. Yeah. And Washington Justice realized that they're going to have this advantage. Corey already charged up. They suck them into the black hole, grouping them together and then eliminating the Florida team. Yeah, that was a good grab too. And, and Washington really seemed to be ready for it, which is nothing they kind of had struggled with previously. Now it's going to be Giannis going ahead and using that Primal Rage. A little bit low health, has to duck out, grab that health pack. And with him separated from the team, that's going to give Florida a chance to get in here, man. They're on the point. And Washington needs to get their main tank back with their team. He's finally made it back, but they've given up a lot of control over here. And they do swap it. Florida Mayhem grabs it. Self-destruct. Oh, it gets two. Fosix and Corey caught by that one. And... Now Florida should get a good amount of time on the point. Yeah, same story, different team. And now Mayhem will have the opportunity here to use their support ultimates on the Lucio and the Zenyatta in combination with the Primal Rage from Winston to block up this choke point here if they choose to play aggressively. Right. Now Washington does have some ultimates that they've been building up. So they've got a chance to push back here. They've got those support ultimates. Guido kind of lacking that transcendence, but... They've got a way to get through the door. Florida not going to stop them. Yeah, they might All think right. Corey already has a Graviton Surge. It's possible. He is getting close. A lot of Zarya's wood. They're going to get some charge from Janus jumping in there early on. The rally is coming in. Corey charging forward here, just really trying to get that Graviton Surge built up. He's got it now. Uses it immediately. They lock up Swan with that one. Maybe they can get a few with the Primal, with the Self-Destruct. No, not quite. Swan waiting up. He's got the Primal Rage. Going to go ahead and use it to try to scatter the members of Washington. Sound barrier that Lucio Alt is used by both teams, actually. Florida trying to hold strong onto the point. I thought maybe they would have a good response to that Primal Rage, but not quite. Either way, they're still building the control percent. Now the grab comes in from Washington. Janus down early. No, that was from Florida, rather. My bad. And that's going to be a big win for Florida as they maintain control. And Florida just sequencing their ultimate so much better. You see the sound barrier coming from the Justice. Quick disengage from the Florida Mayhem. They counter with their own barrier. No ultimate effectiveness from the Washington Justice on that point. And Florida Mayhem, they get the last save. They get the last grab. And there are no support ultimates to keep the Washington Justice alive. Yeah. Washington on the outside looking in now. 90% for Florida Mayhem. They got to get something going. Swan. Jumps back, rejoin his team. Florida rotating around. Oh, McGravy got the mech. He's going to go ahead and use that self destruct right away just to get his mech back again. Now the grab comes in from Corey. It's on some really low, man. They nearly popped him out of his mech, but Guido there with the transcendence to make sure he stays in. It's going to be Swan. Ooh, he gets Guido actually with the primal rage. That is big for Florida. And that self destruct got nothing from Justice. Florida may have in a prime position. To try to hold this one, they demet Corey, but they do lose BQB in the process. McGravy goes out, but he charges back up again. Otto, though, gets knocked off by the right click from Chris. And it looks like Florida will be able to maintain control here. And they have got point A here on Nepal. I mean, much better ult economy from Florida overall. The value that they got out of those ultimates by disengaging to Justice, absolutely huge. No follow up on the Justice Graviton Surge. Meanwhile, Florida Mayhem comes back counter punches time and time again and wins the first point on Sanctum here on Nepal. You know, I had high hopes for Washington early on in that one. They got that grab a little bit quicker. Corey put it to good use, but it seems like it was all kind of downhill from there as soon as Florida took back the point. And to be fair, Sanctum is one of those points where it can be kind of hard to retake it if you lose it, but Florida Mayhem just simply fighting it out better. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like we are going to see the Reinhardt Three tanks, three support on shrines, so no big damage dealing heroes That's right. in the cards for either of these teams. They'll just rush straight onto the point and start poking each other for ultimate. That's 3-3, three, three, man. That's a triple tank, triple support. 
Although the tanks in Overwatch do do a lot of damage. Of course, Zenyatta. Oh, Swan! In trouble. Backs off. Still, no, he didn't live through it. Pozix gets the finishing blow, and that is bad for Florida. Apply down as well, and yeah, should be Washington getting control of the point first again. I mean, Washington recognizes that Swan is too far forward, drops the Discord orb on him to amplify the damage onto the tank. I think that's the loudest I've ever yelled the word Swan before. <laughs> Swan! <laughs> it's all right, I'm sure you have plenty of other opportunities this match. Don't usually I? when I do that, did the, in the, the past people just ask me to leave the uh, park. <laughs> Or you're getting attacked by a swan, which That's is very swan. real danger. Very real danger. Uh, there's some real danger from this swan on Florida sometimes, but usually, Not that time. if you just throw him some breadcrumbs, he's usually OK. <laughs> Focus on that. Oh, Sansa. Oh, no, he got demacked. That's not what Washington wants at all. Without that diva suit, that's going to be uh, a pretty tough time for them. Holding this point, Florida moves in. All right, Earth Shatter comes in, not allowed out of that, but now BQB drops that grab. They're trying to focus on Ganus. Sansum finally finished off in that mini diva form. Another grab comes in from Washington. Swan down, but maybe Florida has what it takes to flip it. They certainly seem to have taken the fight in the direction they wanted to. Janus extremely low, and after that, Zarya shields down. Ooh, he's still alive. Apply. Taken out instead. I cannot believe Washington kept their Reinhardt alive. That's crazy. Oh, the Swan comes the in. Secret shatter. The shatter from behind, but he's got. That's right. He's got the Sunbury though on Washington, though. It's not going to matter. That was a beautiful shatter from Florida, <laughs> but what can you do, man? Wow. Tried to hide behind that pillar and set up a shatter. Succeeded. Yeah. He did get the sound barrier out from the Justice. So Fosix forced to use the Lucio ultimate, providing the overshields to the rest of his team. So does net them a team fight win, and now Florida Mayhem basically have to win every single fight from here out if they want to run it all the way back. Too bad for Swan, because sometimes it's like that the story of the duck that turns into a swan. It's kind of the opposite for this guy, unfortunately. He might come back and stage two with the name Duckling. <laughs> a little bit worried at this point. I think, I think he might at this stage, Noah. It's a good shatter, though, but nobody there to help him out after it was down. Speaking of down, Swan getting really low again. They're trying to keep him alive. BQB drops that Graviton Surge. Self-destruct coming in. Otto got taken out by Swan's charge, so another chance for Florida to swap this one back again. Looked like the Zarya bubble wasn't on the right target, but oh, it may not matter. Gee. Great McGravy gets the grab. Oh, that's big, man. Florida Mayhem with a chance here. They've got Giannis as well, so at 99% for Washington, it looks like Florida Mayhem will be able to finally get some control percent building up for them. And we talked about it coming in, McGravy number three in this league at ultimates negated per 10 minutes. When it comes to D.Va players, he has catapulted him up in those ranks. Not a lot of play time, but he has been delivering at clutch moments. Yeah, he's good. Like, McGravy has definitely been a, a addition that I think a lot of people were surprised about. But oh, yeah. even in his very first match, he showed that skill. And he also showed uh, a lot of poise on stage. I for agree. The first big stage he's really been on. He's not the most polished player, but he does seem to have a lot of raw talent. Yeah, I, I think he's got a long good career ahead of him. That's a, initial impressions are positive, for sure. Ooh, the charge comes in, and Otto. Gonna get taken out early for that Florida Mayhem. Already getting the fight that 6v4 as they take out Fozix as well. And they're gonna get some more control percent. If I was Washington, I'd start to be sweating a little bit. And this is great for Florida because all they had to use was the Earth Shatter. And part of coming back in a situation where you're down 99 to zero here in the Overwatch League is using your ults as efficiently as possible. If you can sort of get away with winning a fight with just a single ultimate, especially ones that build quickly like Earth Shatter, you're gonna have a much better opportunity to hold fast and run it back to win the point. Absolutely. Corey getting pretty close to his Graviton Surge. That's going to be key for Washington to do this. They only need to really win one fight to take the point again and win the round. It's going to be super hard, though, because the Sound Barrier and the Transcendence are up on the side of the Mayhem. So putting through enough damage, especially when you need to wait to charge up your Zarya's energy, is tough. Yeah. The Florida is definitely holding all the cards at the moment. About one fight left in this round right now as we hit to 80%. Uh, the grab used by BQB right away. Here comes the self-destruct from McGravy. Agapun jumps in with the counter shatter. Ooh, the shatter could be resulting in something. But no, Giannis getting a little bit low. Watching that's back off. They got him. They got Giannis right as his earth shatter came up. Oh, but Sasset gets two with the self-destruct. Are you serious? Washington Justice, a new lease on life for them as they push Florida back. And Florida just could not avoid that self-destruct. That is tragic, man. The Gravy doing what he can with a kill on the Guido, but 
I think it's going to be Washington retaking this point here. Oh, it's going to be super hard. Now they've come back with a wrecking ball for Swan. Yeah, but he's, he's a wrecking ball on his own, man. And he can't solo that, right? There goes BQB. He's still alive. They're still getting tickled by uh, Apply in the back as well on that Sombra now. Swapping things up. The swap comes in. It's going to be Washington, and they're going to take it. We're all tied up here on Nepal. I don't know how that self-destruct managed to take out Swan. Looked like he was yeah. stunned or booped by Lucio from behind. Otto was down. So really interesting. Could have been his shield shattering as well. Didn't have the best angle on that one, but uh, clearly a very clutch play on a desperation self-destruct. And the Washington Justice fight back and take the second point. Yeah, they've given themselves a chance here. We're going to go to Village next. That small, enclosed point forcing a lot of really close face-up encounters. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how they respond. Looks like we're going to get the Reinhardt 3-3 ah. again from both teams. Yeah, we are, so nothing too unique here in the current metagame from either of these teams going with tried and tested strategies. Yeah, we see the Faro once in a while on this point, but both of these teams going with the current meta standard. And they're just diving right into it, man. It's a brawl. On the point right now, Swan a little bit low, but he backs away. They've got McGravy isolated here. Sansa chasing him down. Mortal Kombat between the Divas, but no. Florida Mayhem interrupts the honorable duel. Meanwhile, Hagapun and Chris down outside this fight. Corey grabs two, and Florida in a lot of oh. trouble. I think they tunneled a little bit too hard on saving McGravy. They definitely tunneled too, far, too hard on saving McGravy. And having your Zenyatta, who is very slow out in the open, can be a bit troublesome. <laughs> When the whole team just like yeah leaves the Zenyatta alone, you're like, well, when all the tanks are <laughs> occupied elsewhere. Like glad I backed up my memory banks on an SD card before <laughs> this one, man. That's a uh, that's rough. Mandata should have been smarter. That's right. Yeah, why didn't Mandata do the uh, the backup? <laughs> didn't have the cloud there. All right, Florida man, jumping back on the point, trying to retake this one. Giannis with the Earth Shatter. He's got a chance here. He's going to drop it right to the shield of Swan. That's going nowhere. Sounds a little bit low here. BQB drops another Graviton Surge. There goes Otto. Giannis taken out as also Florida Mayhem. Retake the point before the fight is even over. And they've got the control percent going. Yeah, and in spite of the early deaths on the side of the Florida Mayhem, they came out better when it comes to Ultimate Economy. Corey got his Graviton Surge at the very end of that fight, so not going to be useful in Florida Mayhem. Now, sitting on an Earth Shatter, seeing if they can get a pickoff by stunning someone as they come into the point. Meanwhile, Self-Destruct and Graviton combo available for, to the Justice. Let's see what they can do. Ooh, Shatter comes in. Luckily, Guido there with his Transcendence to try to keep people alive. All right, grab, Self-Destruct. No kills on floor to get out of that one. Swan pretty low, though. Really low, he's down. Sansom gets him. They've shown a lot of good plays lately. Now Giannis drops his own Earth Shatter. Low health has to get healed up himself. Sansom does get deep back. Florida Mayhem trying to fight his shorthanded, but with losses on McGravy there, even oh. with that sound barrier. I don't know how long you can hold this one. All right, they're going to go for the grab. Bam, dedicating a lot of stuff to this fight. Yeah, they definitely are, but they also got the rally and the sound barrier out of the Justice in trade for the Graviton Surge, and they kept control of the point. Apply down. Washington still fighting it out. They haven't lost anybody yet. And now they take out McGravy again. Corey back in there with the Graviton Surge, and looks like they should finally be able to switch this one. So Florida may have got themselves another one. 15, 20% off of that fight. So at the end of the day, that's probably worth it. Yeah, and really what they did was they dedicated the sound barrier so that BQB would have an opportunity to use the Graviton Surge. Yeah. And what did they get? Like you say, about 25% approximately. Corey had to use Grav. Fazix had to use Sound Barrier. They also used Otto's Rally. So honestly, that trade is amazing for the Florida Mayhem, especially since BQB is 70% of the way to another Grav. They are looking good. Yeah, they've got Rally coming up pretty soon, too. They've got some tools to come back in on this one. Oh, but if they lose Swan, they can't lose Swan. Sansa's self doesn't get anything there. Uh, Yanu's down early, though. Guido couldn't keep him up with the transcendence. Hagopun, very low himself. Sansa, though, turning around, trying to get the defense matrix to save his team, but he can't. Guido taken out anyway. And Florida just walks right back in and switches the point back over. And a lot of this now has the as we're heading into the final fight of this round, of this map here on Nepal, relies on Corey's Graviton Surge. Oh, that's a late stagger, too. Yeah, that's going to be even more time that Washington needs to wait before they can attack with full strength. Sansom respawning just now. But look at that, 90% plus for Florida. 
Yes. They gotta get in there, man. Yeah, the problem is with that Graviton, Chris is still gonna have the sound barrier to delete the incoming damage. Washington. Gotta make something happen. Oh, Swan goes for the shatter, but nothing really coming from that. It's overtime. Florida Mayhem, if they can win this fight, they can win the map. Yeah, Justice have to stay on the point. Yep. They gotta keep that overtime bar from expiring here, otherwise Florida takes the ball. There's the Graviton Surge sound barrier in response from Florida. Giannis tries to go through with the charge, doesn't get anything out of it. Oh, shatter! Shatter from Giannis. That's gonna seal the deal. Washington Justice should be taking this fight and retaking the point. Can Florida scramble back 70%? The good thing for Florida, they've got a lot of ultimate. They, they've got everything they need, though. I mean, that was a potentially map-saving shatter from Giannis. Big play from the Justice Reinhardt player, but still, Florida Mayhem, they're coming back with a wealth of ultimates to engage on this. Yeah. Maybe Guido. Guido should be able to get Trance on the Zenyatta, but that's gonna be about it. Otherwise, just a self-destruct for Sansa. Here we go again, Florida coming back in with a lot of tools. BQB needs to stay alive, he's gonna drop that grab. They're gonna use the Transcendence as well. Here comes the self-destruct, no kills from that. Florida Mayhem on the point right now, they managed to flip it back. Well, Washington was forced away. Apply down, though. Oh, Washington, they're just gonna go ahead and start taking names, man. They got another kill, but Chris going back with one onto Otto. Florida not out of it just yet. Oh, maybe they are now. We're losing McGravy. Washington to needs to flip the point back again. That was crazy that Florida actually retook that. But in the end, it's not gonna make a big difference. Washington Justice will take the first map in this series. I mean, the self-destruct was thrown around the corner from the grab, so it do. couldn't actually <laughs> deal damage to the Washington Justice. That's a big unforced error on the side of the mayhem. No it's gonna kidding. cost them. Well, Washington will take it, man. They have taken the lead in this series. One map to zero so far. And when we come back from the break, we'll see if Florida ties it up or if Washington gets a 2-0 lead. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. And by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. They don't just play for a team. They play for every fan, every rival, every moment, every match. When everyone watching expects the best, they perform with the best. Bit of a wacky team fight at the end of that one, and Washington Justice manages to take the first map. They've got the lead in this series. One step towards getting their first win this stage. Yeah, in Florida Mayhem, we saw a little bit of an interesting team fight there where they did have a massive advantage. Looking at that again, I think is a bit in order right here. Seems like we might have had McGravy on a remech rather than a self-destruct around the corner. Let's see here. Yeah, the grab's gonna come in here around the corner. Trance also going to be used, oh, and there no. it is. Yeah. Well, so, you know, what happens there is, is uh, ideally, right, 
you hit the charge button before you hit Q, so your mech starts moving forward and then self-destructs. But that looked like a situation where the Q came in a little bit before right. the charge. And so, I mean, we don't know what was going on through his head, and I can't talk to him right now, obviously. But to me, that looked like a little bit of fat yeah. fingering action there. Yeah, and it, it, I, it, it really is rough, too, because yeah. when we look at the Justice, they were using the Transcendence from Zenyatta, but that provides healing over time. So any instant damage, like the damage from Self-Destruct, if it had been within line of sight, so if you draw a line from the D.Va to that person, it'll hit. There's nothing in the way. There's a wall in the way. It didn't hit anybody. Well, walls certainly make it hard to kill people with Self-Destruct. That is true. <laughs> Zephyr subbing in for McGravy as we move forward here. Now, Zephyr played a lot of the earlier matches in the season before McGravy was picked up, and now it seems like Florida's kind of testing both of these guys out, deciding who they want to, you know, use more often than the lineup. Well, I think it's also just giving McGravy experience because yeah. you, you mentioned he does seem pretty calm and collected for the most part on the big stage, and he has put up some impressive statistics in his limited play time, right. but a lot of this, too, is just Florida Mayhem problems in general. Issues with communicating uh, when it comes to how they're going to position, how they're going to use ultimates. They look strong on Sanctum, but you know, honestly, they had really good shots to win. Both Shrine and Village ended up losing both. And the Justice, you know, they're going to get a win here on what has been their best map type. We'll see if they can continue it through the rest of this match, though, because they've struggled on non-control maps. Fair enough. Well, it's time to go to Hollywood. Washington Justice on the attack. Florida Mayhem will be on the defense as we start things off on our second map, our hybrid attack map. Got to go ahead and take the point first, get the payload moving, and then try to get it to the end of the map. Uh, you see the Widowmaker right now and the Ana here in the spawn of the Washington Justice. Probably just going to be peeking out of the spawn doors to see if they can get a sniper shot off to take somebody out if Florida Mayhem is playing too far forward on their defense. Man, everybody hates railings in Overwatch. The bane of Overwatch maps. You don't, you're not really too worried about safety when you're throwing like rockets around and stuff, I suppose. Why do they even have railings when there's no fall damage in Overwatch world, Della? That's a good It question. doesn't matter if anybody falls off. See, that's why. They're like, welcome to the new world. Goodbye, railings. All right, so BQB on the Sombra here, trying to get some ult charge by dealing damage as they approach. Does take a chunk out of Otto and is getting healed up. Wow, At he's the same being really time, annoying. he is being very annoying. Got you know 25 percent of his ult wow. charge. That's pretty good. That was for... great harass, man. He slowed down Washington too as they were coming in. Now Guido low, Guido down. Hagopun finds the kill, and that is some successful harass right there. Softened up Washington Justice as they tried to come in. Now they're fighting the 5v6. Florida Mayhem rotating around. They're gonna pop Sansom out of the back. There goes Fozix as well. So Justice back to the drawing board right now. I mean, like you say, Noah, BQB really helping to chunk out the members of the Washington Justice. He's going to be going for another attempt at that here. Invisible right now as the Sombra is trying to get that last little bit, testing his limits. BQB known as a Sombra ace before entering the Overwatch League. Right. This is the hero that he made a name for himself on in Korea. Certainly the, the hero Florida was most excited about him playing when they picked him up. He's got that EMP now. Uh, Justice knows it, too. He did so much damage on these approaches that they, they're ready for this EMP. Oh, they weren't ready for that one, man. A lot of people getting hit by that. Somehow, Guido managed to avoid it. Swan down, actually. So the response for Justice, despite the hacks. It was just a little bit out of range, though. That was the problem. It I only hit so. three people on the Justice. But they got, do get it a very important D-Mac. But with uh -oh, BQB, BQB falling to Corey, that changes quite a bit. That is not great. Now, oh, Guido down right away. Sansum as well. Yannis low himself. So Corey trying to keep everybody alive, but they're just going to jump on them. And yeah, that's going to be about it for that fight. Close call for Florida. Yeah, Swan gets back, and the damage had already been done. When you don't have a D.Va to approach the point, you need that defense matrix to stop a lot of the incoming damage yeah. from the enemy team. So Zephyr has to commit the Graviton, though, and Florida uses quite a bit to help with that defense. BQB once again invisible, annoying on the flank. That's right. Too bad for the Babylon Hotel there. They're taking a lot of damage to their walls. That's a... Uh... It's not a very peaceful place to spend the night. It's going to hurt their internet score, for sure. <laughs> Whatever they have in the future, I don't know. Washington Justice back on the point right now. Florida Mayhem trying to drop down. Contesting now. Janus down about half health. The pressure on the Reinhardt is real. One tick taken by Washington so far. BQB down. Oh, Guido gives him the uppercut. The kick to the face and Zenyatta's yeah, boot to the head. Situation. Boot to the head indeed. Sansom. Oh, Yannis drops your shatter. Florida Mayhem responding though with that sound barrier, but they gotta get back on the point. They can't let Washington take this one. 
Janus does find a kill on the crit, so Washington Justice nearly has it. They're so close. Zephyr, so close to grab as well, but Florida's lost so many people. Auto down. Maybe Florida can turn this one around. Oh, they're so close. Oh, they take it. Florida may have stepped up. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, no. Oh, Florida. They invested the sound barrier to make sure that Zephyr was going to reach the Graviton. A surge. That is tragic. That was a lot of resources, and the Washington Justice are going to take the point anyway, and now they're going to be feeling great about their ult economy. When you have that self-destruct and the Graviton surge together, the other team doesn't have a sound barrier. It makes it quite a bit harder to stop the combo. And Florida needs to get their Omega-3 fatty acids or whatever more in their diet because they forgot <laughs> what the point <laughs> did right there. More fish oil. There you go. <laughs> Florida man, they got a couple ultimates used. Zephyr going to go ahead and drop the uh, grab, but Pongo Button getting the kill on Fozix. All right. Washington getting scattered a bit here now. Uh, they save they save Corey, though, who still has all of that Zarya energy. And that's a mistake that may allow Florida to get back into this one, considering that they are going to be able to charge up now the transcendence before the start of this next team fight. We'll see though, Justice didn't commit anything. Uh, they're gonna yeah. walk up here and see if they can make a play with their ult economy advantage. Agobun getting really close at EMP too. Swan gonna get charged. No, he got out of it somehow. Graviton surge, no kills resulting from that for Washington. Florida going back in again, but no, they gotta dodge that self-destruct. No kills though. Self-destruct. Oh, there's the EMP coming in for BQB. Agobun down early though. Washington with an early edge in this fight. Recharging back in. Whoa, Otto just sweeps away Florida like a pile of dust on the kitchen floor. And Guido was expecting that EMP. Zenyatta has to hide in order not to get hit by the hack so he can't use his abilities, but coming in with the trance saves the rest of the members of the Justice. Good positioning, heads up play here by Washington. Nearly finishing point B already are the Washington Justice. They just gotta stop Swan. Goes in with that Zarya bubble. Wow, they're gonna go ahead and use the grab here. Zephyr trying this one out. Oh, he gets killed in the process though. Otto down to the fire strike, so Washington does decide to back up. There was a hack on the Janus, too. So without that Reinhardt shield, you do need to play it a bit more cautiously. Yeah, you do. But Corey already nearly there with another Graviton Surge. Uh, Florida Mayhem really relying on time to get BQB's EMP online. A good block on Swan Shatter there. Now the grab comes in for Florida. EMP on the, from BQB. They're going to pair it with the sound barrier. A big buff Florida Mayhem crushing Washington Justice, and now there's less than a minute remaining for Justice. So you start to worry a little bit if you're Washington right now. Florida, actually, this game has been doing a very good job of getting time to, Ooh, for their ultimates there. to come online, right? BQB, there's a shatter used there by Swan yeah. just to give BQB a couple more seconds to get the EMP. The problem has really been with the execution once they get them, but the idea is pretty sound from the side of the mayhem. Right, the ordering has been good, but the tactical moves <laughs> <Yes>. afterwards <laughs> have been left. Well said, well said. So Justice here, huge advantage. Boss is gonna get hacked from above right there. BQB still being annoying on the flank. Got a ton of ults. And they get point B with it. We're gonna go into overtime here. 3, 2, 1, Otto gets hacked early on. Sound barrier onto Washington Justice. Sounds him a bit low, but he gets back to the cart. Florida needing to get aggressive here. Hagopin saving that transcendence. Gonna need to use it at some point. Auto a little bit low. There goes apply. Oh, he couldn't get saved by the Zenyatta ultimate. Pop that one a little bit late here. Now Swan trying to use the shatter, but no follow. Nice. There he goes. Nice stun by Otto. Yeah, man, that set up Swan's death from the self-destruct, and it looks like Washington is gonna keep this round going. They're gonna take point B. They are gonna take point B. Have to invest quite a few ultimates, but they use that advantage that they had to make sure they're gonna be able to push this card just a little bit further forward. Otto, big stun kill there to help set up the self-destruct. In this 3-3 meta, so much of the game is about playing around each other's ultimates and setting each other up as a team. Grab, comes in for Florida. No kills though. A little bit early on that grab. We know they managed to separate Giannis. Now they can push Washington back. Remember, Washington, not a lot of time left in their time bank. They only got about a minute 30 back from taking point B and losing your tank early. Now they get that stagger kill on Sansom. 
Florida slowly picking apart Washington Justice and eating all their remaining time off the time bank. Yeah, it's about one fight territory now for the Justice, and they have to play into an EMP. Yep. Maybe they can get the Graviton online, but Korg has to fire it before he gets hacked and can't use his abilities anymore. DQB is invisible. He's behind him. They don't know he's there. Hack the world, man. He gets the big one, but where's the team? Where's the follow-up? They need to get on to Giannis right now. Corey will be an easy victim as he had no way to shield himself. There goes the Reinhardt, and now Washington. It seems like it's going to be near impossible for them to push the, the payload at all. I mean, Ten seconds. Corey's going to get another shot for this Graviton. An unlikely opportunity here with six seconds left. I mean, bkb has got to get a big hack on to Corey as soon as he comes out. He does! He hacks Corey immediately as he comes out of the door, but the shatter for Swan does not connect with anybody here. CQB gets stunned, manages to get out. There's a grab now for Washington Justice. If they can finish Florida here, they'll get more distance and they get Hagobun. That's a good start for Washington. That's the fight they needed. And at the last possible moment, they will get a bit more distance. And this is entirely different if Swan hits the shatter onto Corey, but Giannis yep. gets the shield in front of Corey on time. So despite all of Florida's efforts to prevent that Graviton from coming out of Corey. The Justice find a way to make it work, and now they get more distance on the payload. I mean, Florida had a great plan, but they just didn't get the execution. BQB very close to an EMP, though, and another good one could end the push for Florida right there. Samson lobbing in the self-destruct. No kills out of that. It's going to be the grab coming in for Florida on the back of their sound barrier. Auto down early. Rally comes in from apply, meanwhile, on Mayhem. There's the EMP for BQB. And with all those members of Washington hacked, it should be an easy cleanup, but Swan and Apply down. Washington making a go over here. Still alive. They're the kills. Sansa finally getting DMX. And at the end of the day, I just don't think it's going to be enough. It's not. And Washington with an admirable push, but they could not finish Hollywood. Yeah, definitely a solid push in overtime for them. And so the gauntlet has been thrown. Two points nearly to the end of C achieved by the Justice. Now Florida stopped them in the end, but they got to push it quite a while. We'll see if they can do that when we come back. Let us see if Florida Mayhem could push the payload a bit farther than Washington Justice could. If they can, they will win this map and tie up the series. Don't forget, guys, our stage one final, Sunday, March 24th, 12 p.m. Pacific time, a none other than ABC. Very exciting. Huge deal. Should be really cool, guys. So don't miss it. Vancouver versus it. New York. Yeah. The dream. <laughs> That's right. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Probably gonna be those two teams. I'd be surprised if it was anyone else, but you never know. I don't know. This meta, this meta has had some surprises in some of the teams in the league. Toronto Charge certainly capable of delivering us some pretty surprising results. Yeah, Toronto, Guangzhou, San Francisco, all potential outside contenders. I agree. Florida Mayhem on the attack. They're gonna go on the attack with the QB Sombra. Not a big surprise there. Ooh, he dodges the checking from Samsung. You saw him firing wildly, trying to find that invisible Sombra. If you hit the Sombra, 
you reveal her, he could be revealing himself to start putting some pressure on the point before he just goes ahead and translocates back home. Yeah, you can see though Florida just instantly putting the Discord Orb to add additional damage. Yeah. Over onto Sansam. So they're playing smart right now, just trying to chunk out some of the tanks on the side of the Washington Justice, soften them up so that they can come in yeah. to eliminate them later. You get in there and you try to hack one of the tanks. And from there on out, it can be a fairly easy fight. Janus getting Sansom. healed up there. Sansom's hacked though, so they can't go in right now. It's a game of cat and mouse because the Justice need to collapse on Florida while the Sombra's on the flank. That's right. And we're about here with BQB's EMP, and this is pretty bad for the Justice, because they have nothing to deal with this. They are a ways away from some ultimates. Guido might be able to get his Transcendence up just in time. We'll see. Transocate, big EMP from on high. I got a lot of people, though. Guido, though, unaffected, gets his Transcendence. But he already lost a few people. I mean, that's the thing. The timing was so tight. And they managed to kill Reinhardt. They killed Janus right before Guido got his Transcendence at that point. It's just better to save those ultimates a lot of times. Or, or not. Or you just go in if you're Guido. Oh, he I thought know he could that, save man. Sansum's mech. Yeah, but that is an ill-advised Zenyatta ultimate. You're going to want that one back. And now Florida Mayhem's going to be able to rock into point B with a lot of ultimates available. Got to use a couple here. Janus is coming back, and they are turning this one around. Somehow, Janus made it back to the fight. Craziness, uh, no. Corey just barely got his grab. That was an insane last second hold from Washington. Very good turnaround. They had auto back. They were using the fact that they have slightly closer spawns to drag out the engagement. Florida Mayhem, they throw their Graviton Surge in from Zephyr and they don't have the damage. However, maybe short lived here is BQB already with another EMP. And you can see Washington Justice, they're spread out. They what don't want Guido? everybody to get hit by this. That's right? Here we go, he got Guido that time, he made sure. Zenyatta only has 50 health after he loses all those shields from the EMP. Janus down as well, so BQB grabs two. And now the rest of the Florida Mayhem rolling in. Sound Barrier keeping Swan alive. Now they're cleaning up the rest of the members of Justice. That self-destruct not claiming anybody. Zonsum trying to delay as long as he can. I mean, it was crazy that Washington even fought that last de defensive fight. A lot of teams would just save their ults and say, all right, we'll try to hold it early on B, but Washington made a little bit more time off the clock. Do you think it was worth it? Yeah, I do, because they reset Florida's ult economy. I think that was Fair ended enough. up being a very good move from the Justice. I wouldn't necessarily agree with how it happened, but when the dust settles, it's not so bad, as you can see. Yeah. Justice now, they're going to have a Transcendence rally. And a Graviton Surge heading into this next engagement. Indeed. Corey drops that grab the moment he gets it. Washington not able to respond. Whoa, Zephyr, 99% for his own grab here. Uh, that's Washington, yeah, easy win on that one. That's a good play by the Justice, though. They know that they have an advantage with this Graviton Surge. They don't think Zephyr has his Zarya ultimate available yet, so why not just rush in, see the amount of damage that you can do with the Graviton, they end up hitting that timing window perfectly. It's such a bold move, though, to just, like, run right in, right in. But when Florida's not running a D.Va, you don't have to worry about yeah. it getting eaten, so why not? Yeah, exactly, though, exactly. There is no there's no reason not to run into that scenario. That's good shot calling from Washington. I agree. Zephyr's got his Graviton surge now. Washington, a lot of people hack from that EMP. Zephyr waiting for a chance. Might not need to use it. We'll see. Florida Man being very selective about these ults. That's a lot of charge, though, on the Zephyr and Zarya right now. They're pushing Washington back regardless. Yanu's getting roasted here. Swan wading in with the hammer. The payload's still moving behind all of this, by the way. Yeah, that's a win for Florida because they have pushed the members of the Justice back. So they got free movement on the payload. This makes it so they only have to win one fight to capture point B. Yeah, they I'm kept their ults, the too. The There's the grab now for Florida. Zephyr going to throw that one in there. It's going to draw out the sound barrier from Washington Justice. Janus goes for the Earth Shatter. Doesn't claim any kills, but Chris goes down to the ensuing grab from Corey. Florida Mayhem turning this one around now, trying to get back onto the point. Here comes the self-destruct from Washington. Nice. Gets the Zephyr. He's in jail permanently now, man. Swan down as well, so Washington with another good hold at the end of B. Yeah, using the self-destruct creatively just to zone somebody out, puts them in a do-or-die situation. That's what's gonna end up happening here Sounds inside like the jail, a, yeah. It's like, uh, I'm not stuck in here with you, you're stuck in here with me. <laughs> exactly. Well, with his mech, really. Well, right, with my <laughs> mech, but I'm not in jail at all. Uh -huh. It's back soon, though. All right, so Florida, though, again, 
One fight left to win, and the EMB is going to be very consequential. As they walk up to this point, BQB is going to be setting up on the high ground. 60 seconds. Here we go. Well, under a minute now for Florida to make it work. There's the EMP, but Guido dodges it, gets to roll in with the Transcendence, but cannot save his Reinhardt either way. They use a Rally, too, so the Rally and the Transcendence not able to save Giannis, and that is a huge problem for uh, Justice. Yeah, Swan actually used the Reinhardt shield to block off the healing coming in from the side of the Justice, so the Transcendence not within line of sight due to the Reinhardt barrier, and that allows them to focus down the Justice. It's something you don't see terribly often, but a heads-up play by Swan to help get that kill on the Giannis. Now, Giannis does have the Earth Shatter, on the Washington side of things. Oh, the split oh, spot Corey. on Corey is brutal. Corey, no! So what happens there is if you take the point, the spawn moves back on the defensive side, but Corey respawned before that happened, and that means you have to wait another 10 seconds for the resurrection here on the side of the Justice, and it means you have less time to charge up your Zarya, which is, which is really, really bad, especially because Corey is so close to the Graviton Surge, and yep. we're basically in one fight territory now for the Justice. Well, remember, Florida Mayhem doesn't even need to push it all the way to the end. They just need to push it to that golden box of victory you see on the floor right there. Ooh, Washington nearly gives it up. They drop down at the last possible second. Zephyr with the grab. If Florida can win this fight, they can they win got the Zephyr. Match. Zephyr going down. I don't know, man. A hack on the Sansa. Oh, that's a big shatter from Giannis, So Washington Justice turning this one right around. Oh boy, and the Justice to come out of it just using Grab and Shatter, so four ults available to them. But again, what does Florida Mayhem have? They have an EMP, they can disable all of those ultimates depending on the positioning. That's right. Gio's been pretty smart so far about hiding around corners. Now you can see he split up in the top right and the Lucio's on the left, so they're really maximizing their odds of getting a support ultimate off right now. Man, if you're a support, you gotta dodge the EMP. There's no question. Florida Mayhem rotating around, trying to chase people all together. They're trying to corral Washington Justice right now to give BQB a good EMP. Washington Justice cornered a bit. There's a the sound barrier. The EMP come in here to clear it out. Sound barrier now for Florida. BQB being very, very patient with this one. Corey on the outside. There's the EMP. Sansom comes in. self destruct not much out of that one. Swan drops the Earth Shatter. Otto comes in with the Zarya shield, so he's a little bit more durable. Washington trying to stay alive. That was a lot of ultimates used, but not a lot of kills. No kills, in fact, for Florida here. Hago put so close to the trap. Can he save oh, him? Oh, so he can't save him. Fly. Sansom does get deep net, though. Florida with a chance, but no, it's Zephyr drop. Washington, they've done it. They are going to actually take two maps in a row in this series. Washington Justice will put themselves one map away from winning their first match in the Overwatch League. Washington Justice on two maps in a row in situations where they are at a disadvantage when their back's against the wall. They're the ones who persevere and pull it out, and they're going to be 2-0 in this series. Wow. The impossible might be possible today for Washington. They have a 2-0 lead as we go into halftime. We'll see in just a few. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. High ground or low ground, T-Mobile has you covered. And by State Farm. Whatever life brings your way, State Farm is here to help life go right.
The Washington Justice are a map away from their first ever win here in the Overwatch League. They take a 2-0 lead over the Mayhem coming into the half. Welcome back into the Blizzard Arena. We've got an awesome crowd here on Sunday. It's St. Patty's Day, and we are just into match number two of four here. It's the final match day in stage one before our playoffs. We have Zoe, we have Brent on Pucket, and we've got a lot to talk about. And we're going to start here with the convo around the Divas, because last night, if you were watching, Washington Justice's Sansom was looking so good on that Diva. And on the other side for Florida, we knew McGravy has been putting in work. So, Zoe, you were highlighting in the pregame show, you said, keep your eyes on these two players. What did you see in the first half? Well, McGravy did the same thing again we saw in it. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh surprise. <laughs> Speaking of gravy. Yeah, it's not getting better if you see it twice, to be honest. Uh, he did exactly what we just saw. He stuck to his team. He was right there with them. He did a lot of peeling for them. And he uh, had some really good positioning. He once again managed to eat more than one graph. Uh, so a lot of ultimates negated still on his side. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, bring but it back. But then they took him out of the game from up two. Peace. Great yeah, tour. That like is there. just vile. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, here's the head to head at least and you can see pretty even between these two diva players it was washington justice who took the first map and you can see sansam again having a reasonable game you know not, not really negating the ultimates per se but again kind of just matching mcgravy in terms of his impact all right so game number one it's going to be washington justice at the very end taking the first map count but now we go into map two it's hollywood coming in who did you think had the advantage that's it. I, that's a really hard question with those two teams. It's a bit of a brawl. I'm gonna be honest with you. Number there was 18, a lot of nice, it? It, yeah. sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of back and forth, and it was very close. Even the first map, it was still very close. The fractional kills of them, they're like four kills apart from each other on both of those maps. So it was hard to tell. Uh, but uh, yeah, Justice did it by by an inch, though. And Brent, you've been cheering on somebody for quite a long time, not just here in 2019, but all of 2018. Yep. Let's take a look at the man who's been popping off on Hollywood. It was Otto. Now, this guy, we met him as a Genji. He's now playing Brigitte. And today, he could get his first career victory in the Overwatch League. Today could be the day. You know, he's he's got 28 losses in all of the games he's played. He hasn't won once. Out over the Washington Justice, he's now one map away from getting his first win. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna put a focus on this guy as well for the uh, for the second map. And generally speaking, he popped off. I think he had a fantastic game, as much as you can do on Brigitte. His impact was was really quite maximum. And I was a big fan of the way he was playing. You know, it's. It is a bit of a shame, you know, that we don't see him on his signature role, you know, the Genji, so to speak, you know, a personal favorite hero of mine. Yeah. But all in all, I've been quite pleased with his performance. And if they keep this up, I can genuinely see them taking it in the second half. Do we want to see anybody here? Well, does anyone here, I should say. <laughs> want to see Otto get his first win in the Overwatch League? There we go. There we go. I knew they'd get behind that, man. I want to see him get a big win. We'll find out if he can do it in the second half. That's going to do it for our halftime. But... Before we go, we got a special treat for you. There's no player in the league who loves playing Hansa more than Tavik from the Florida Mayhem. So we sat down with the man to talk snipers and spacing in this week's game set, sponsored by Omen by HP. With the Dragon Strike, that's a quad kill. Oh, it's so nasty. Tavik just kills everybody. My name is Kevin Lindstrom. I go by the name of Tvik, and I play for Florida Mayhem. Hanzo is a very, very important pick just because of his very high damage output and very high burst with his storm arrows. I usually always play with 200 Hz, just so that not all computers is always able to run the 240. I always run with reduced buffering on. I feel like it reduces input lag, 50% of render scale, and making sure that everything is kind of low. I've been using colorblind options for a very long time because I'm very slightly colorblind. I used to run with the, the Protanopia before, but now I'm just using a different one for my enemies, which is just gold. My crosser is just a very small cross or like a small plus sign, so to say. The one I like the most is either this crosser, which I have, or I just use the default. For a new player, I definitely recommend like starting out with the default crosser. It gives you an idea of how much the arrow actually drops on longer range. Usually when I know that I'm going to play Hanzo, I always just go into practice range just so that I kind of get the feel for my mouse and my mouse pad. Sometimes it, it, fe it feels a little bit different, it feels a little bit off. Maybe I need to change something, maybe I just need to clean my mouse pad a little bit. 
just the presence of a sniper often denies space on, on a map. What makes Hanzo unique as a sniper is that he can very actively deny space by just spamming corners with his arrows, rather than just like kind of waiting for to hit the shot as a Widowmaker. You'd rather just like try to predict that they're gonna come around the corner at this moment and you keep spamming it. That is just filthy. So Storm Arrow's cooldown is not too long, it's about 10 seconds. And there's not a, a lot of situations where you actually want to save it. You'd rather just like use it on cooldown as much as you can, because it's have very high burst damage. A Dragon Strike is it's always nice to get kills with it. But if you don't get kills with it, that it's that's fine. It's completely okay. So what you just gotta do is just shoot it in a position where it either cuts off the kiting path from the enemies or you use it in a clump of enemies so they split out so you can just take one of the sides of the dragon and you can just focus that side so you can easily focus down. How about that? Washington Justice up 2-0 at half. This could be the moment we could be seeing Washington Justice get their first win here in the Overwatch League. And with the way the first two maps have gone, I think it's definitely possible. Ah, uh, yes, Doa. But Washington Justice was also up 2-0 over the London Spitfire, who then went back and completed point. that reverse sweep. So nothing is done yet for sure. the Justice. They've got to win one more of the next two, possibly three maps. So certainly a healthy lead in front of them they need to close in a way that they haven't closed before. I mean, speaking of closing, though, that seemed to be kind of Florida's main oh, problem, yeah. right? As we look at their team fights, they were getting a lot of good EMPs, good grabs, like a lot of the playmaking, like impetus, the beginning of it was there, but then the follow-up just was non-existent completely. Like nobody seemed to know how to take advantage of these plays that were being made. I think when you look at that, you can definitely see that Florida is communicating well around the alt economy and in theory, the decisions they're making are correct. Sure. But the actual execution is abysmal. Yeah. So they're not, as you say, getting the follow-up eliminations, even though in a broad principle, what they're doing, I think, is good. The actual minutiae of the execution has been pretty disastrous. Yeah. Now, that's something, though, that you can turn around. That's something that's very fixable. So maybe having a bit of chat with the uh, coaches during halftime was enough to jog Florida Mayhem back on the track, and we'll see if they can do that. And, you know, I like they uh, go on the defense here against Washington Justice Attack on Volskaya. And I like the fact that they're they're keeping BQB on the Sombra because it, it hasn't been this composition that's been their problem. In fact, they've been getting a lot of EMPs up. Washington has not shown us uh, really a convincing way that they're going to beat this, even though they have hidden their supports well to not get EMP. 
See Chris standing on the bottom right now, waiting to deal with Jonas. Yeah, trying to separate him from the rest of his team here. Trying to combine the hack and all that. The thing, though, is like BQB needs to try to build EMPs really fast, right? Because you're kind of reliant on EMP and like grab alternating on different fights to win. Yep. So we'll see if he can get that EMP quickly. He's getting closer, but they know he's there. They're trying to force him out. He has to translocate away. One tick taken by Washington. They're wait Florida's waiting for that EMP from BQB. Yeah, they are. They just need a little bit more to get oh, there, but they're Swan. not going to get it. You can't lose Swan, and right then the EMP comes out. Chris taken down as well, and so BQB, he got that just a little bit late, and Washington just is not waiting to take advantage of it. They will get point A, and they might have a real good chance to uh, rush ahead to point B here. Yeah, Corey was super ready for that EMP as well, oh, yeah. playing the corner, making sure that he's not going to get his shields deleted by the ultimate who comes through, and now BQB not going to have that EMP for the next fight. Well, Zephyr and Corey going to have matching grabs here shortly. I was going to say, it's going to be a battle of grabs. Here we go, it's going to be Corey's coming out first, and Swan taken out again. Zephyr down before he can use his Graviton Surge. Washington Justice just absolutely rolling Florida right now. Uh, Agobun coming in with the Transcendence, but it's all about delaying to get more respawns out now. Uh, trying Maybe to they can do it. A little bit more time. I mean, Chris is there. He's trying to get what he can. Does get a Zarya bubble. Yeah. Gets roasted, though, afterwards. Swan knocked back the rest of the team. Grab comes in now for Zephyr, but the stuns in response for Justice. Guido has a transcendence, too. And now it's just a cleanup. And it's over. Washington Justice with a blazingly fast time on Volskaya Industries. One Ooh. elimination on two points of defense for the Florida Mayhem. Dominant Crazy. from the Justice. Wow. Quick break, and we'll see if Florida can uh, make up some of the difference. Well, if you blinked, you may have missed the first round here on Volskaya Industries, guys. Washington Justice with five minutes and 49 seconds on the clock right now. They crushed their attack round. Florida Mayhem is really going to have a tough time trying to match that. Yeah, and I, I've said this before from the Justice, but they really, even in spite of their losses, they always keep playing to the bitter end. And they, even when they've been absolutely crushed in certain maps, they come back and they give it their all. And you know, now that they're in a pretty good position here to win this series, they come out swinging. They so close to being I mean, in their grasp right now. You know the pressure's on for Washington right now, man. The, the heart rate is going, the pulse is pounding. They know they're one round away from winning their first match in the Overwatch League. It's the very last day of matches for stage number one, but hey, better late than never, right? Yeah, uh, Florida now. It's gonna try and rotate to the high ground. They're still running the Sombra. They are indeed. And it's not a bad thing, but remember on the defense, they just didn't get that EMP fast enough. I mean, if you're running a Sombra attack here, I think the best case is you charge up the Sombra all up. Oh, now. well, That's, um, I would wager the best case is not involve your Sombra dying almost immediately. Especially with only 32% charge. So what yeah. you're trying to do to match the time if you're the Florida Mayhem 
is build Sombra ult, use okay. Sombra ult. Uh oh, Fazek, right. that is that is disastrous. That is very bizarre that Fazek somehow got caught oh, there. Oh boy, Lucio. BQB is back now. It's gonna be a six versus five. Yeah, I don't Florida's know, just gonna man. drop to the point. Fazek's tried to go for big play, it seemed like, but Florida Mayhem just caught him. They're gonna go on the high ground there. Applied leaping across. Corey gets a shield onto himself just in time, but he is very low health here. As Florida Mayhem back on the point. Washington, though, being wise, they're not taking the fight. They're waiting for their respawn to get back. And now that Fozix has re-entered the fray, they can push Florida Mayhem back again a bit. Yeah, SWAT shield has been broken, so they can't push forward right now. Has to wait for the HP on the barrier to recharge. That's the delay right now. BQB still wanting to use the EMP. As soon as he gets it here, it's gonna be close. Yeah, Sansom got stunned there by Apply. They couldn't quite finish him off, though. Couldn't get him popped out of that mech. It's gonna be the rally from Otto now. Giannis goes for that. Oh, there's the EMP. Oh, but it's Washington. Come back up with the kills. What in the world happened there? That was insane. Giannis just making that shatter work. That was a great read by Washington. They knew the EMP was coming, and so they just had to rush one side. The EMP came out, but it hacked the support to the Justice, so Giannis just standing in the front lines, waiting in with his hammer, dealing all the damage. Florida Mayhem coming back with five volts, though, but this means they probably won't be able to quickly snowball into a point B cap. Wild ultimates for Florida. They're gonna have Chris's really soon, too, so it's gonna be for all intents and purposes, five to three. As far as ultimates go between these two teams, as Sansom is about to get his self-destruct. Oh win. no, Zephyr missed the jump. He did, that leaves Supply a little bit on his own, but Washington backs off anyway, so they didn't get to punish that one. Self-destruct comes in. Ooh, Hago, but very lucky he had the sound barrier there. He would have been dead for sure. Corey gets a kill on the Swan anyway. Florida Mayhem just completely falling apart here. Oh man, they are starting to panic though. The execution yep. looks even worse now for Florida than it did in the first half, they tried the speed boost and used Zarya's alternate fire to sort of rocket jump onto the high ground, which would have put them in a preferable position. Zephyr doesn't make it. That's crazy. And then he has to use the Graviton from the low ground instead. They commit so many ultimates in Washington Justice. Now, four, 50 seconds away now from their first win here in the Overwatch League. Florida Mayhem trying to loop around the side. Keep in mind, this would be Otto's first win in the Overwatch League across multiple teams. He was on Shanghai Dragons last year, the team that went winless. So he's had a lot longer of a losing streak than the rest of his teammates here at Washington. It's a big one for him. Florida Mayhem. Nice fire strike, actually. Yeah, I got him his uh, shatter, I believe. Here we go. Washington. Trying to just hold strong on the point. They're gonna dedicate Corey's grab to this one. Can they finish off Swan? Hagopun pops a transcendence. They're gonna come in. Oh, there's a shatter from Swan and Giannis down. It looks like Florida Mayhem may just be able to keep things going here on both Sky Industries. That's gonna be a point A take, almost certainly. Washington trying to buy as much time as they can. They know that forcing it into overtime is not a bad thing at all. Uh, they're gonna lose the point, but Florida, they didn't get their way, Doa. No, like, ideally, they would have gotten the EMP up and then used it, won the first fight, then they would have swapped off to the D.Va and had five ults to snowball. Now, they're in the reverse situation. They, yeah. they only have the EMP, yet they're coming up on a, the Graviton Surge and the yeah. Rally, but Justice is gonna have a healthy defense here, and it's already sub four minutes for the Mayhem. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, Certainly, Washington is going to have a much bigger time bank than Florida, even if Florida do finish point B here. Rallies used by both t teams simultaneously. Giannis, a little bit low there. Backs off with the fire strike. Florida Mayhem biding their time. Oh, BQB dodging around, gets a hack on a Fozix. Has to translocate, translocate rather out. It's a dangerous moment as he looks for that EMP. Trying to build up on the point right now. BQB wants to find an angle, but you see how spread out the Justice are. They don't want to get more than a couple of their players hacked. Nope. All right, grabs used by both teams. There goes Otto. Florida with their early lead here, but the self-destruct. No kills out of that one, it looks like. Up on the high ground, they couldn't make it work. Sansom in trouble now, and there's the hack. Uh, the hack rather, they did D-Max Sansom though. Fozzik, so EMP before he had a chance to use that sound barrier, and that might be a problem for Washington as now they're losing a lot of people. Another hack on Giannis as he comes in. Sound barrier used now by Washington as they try to stabilize somehow, some way. They do have the respawn advantage so they can get people back into the fight faster. And Florida Mayhem backing away. Ooh, they get Giannis again, though. Yeah, they're picking up Giannis, and they still have some healing on the point with Hakapun's Transcendence. All right, with that Earth Shatter, 
with another kill coming in. They've got a real chance to finish this up and force us in the time bank. Looks like they will be able to do that. A little around two and a half minutes in the time bank for Florida. This map is still going, but Washington's still with a pretty big advantage. Massive advantage, though, and especially with how well they po held point A. Real opportunity now yeah. still for the Justice to take this. A quick break, and we will see who takes it right after this. Welcome back to the Time Bank round here on our Assault Map, Volskaya Industries, Washington Justice, with five minutes and 49 seconds in the Time Bank, well ahead of Florida Mayhem's 223. Florida has less time, they will be attacking first. Washington Justice, remember, still looking for that first win in the Overwatch League. Otto especially, something like what, almost probably about 30 matches in I, no, without I, any wins it's, it's since, a lot yeah since he was signed something like that i don't have the exact number off the top of my head but he was on shanghai dragons last year so he's waiting for it bqb coming around the side invisible my ultimate stealthy charge. deadly cautious <laughs> all the adjectives <laughs> purple for, for bqb know. he's actually yellow but it's fine well i mean my you know sombra has got that purple color, <laughs> color scheme going on there. All right, so the rest of the Justice ignoring BQB for the time being. Right. Yeah, that's a smart move. BQB finally finding an angle that he likes to chunk out the Zenyatta. Will just use that translocator to pop back into the bunker next to the health pack while the rest of the Mayhem rotate on the high ground. Got about 34% towards his EMP there. Needs a little bit more. Obviously, before Florida Mayhem can really take this fight, very reliant on Sombra's EMP. Sansa's been hacked again, but the rest of the team not going to take that opportunity Gito! to move it. Gito one clipped. I mean, sometimes you just straight up find that kill on the support. BQB doing what Sombras do. And now the rest of Washington starting to fall apart here. There goes Otto. Oh, but they lose Swan in the process. Florida Mayhem fighting it shorthanded, but they got enough before losing their main tank. Well, that, that was a patient push by the Mayhem, and they took every advantage, right? Yeah. They had the high ground on top of that bunker, so they have more cover to shoot onto the point below. That puts pressure on them. Guido gets out of position, and BQB finds an elimination, and now Florida's in excellent condition. This is what they wanted last time. Right. They wanted to have an EMP that would chain directly into a host of ultimates. I mean, and if they can take point B here, I mean, even if they can't, honestly, it's a whole new game. Now it's going to be on Washington to try to match when it's their turn to attack. They have to match whatever Florida accomplishes here in the next minute. And BQB with this EMP has a great chance. There we go. EMP on the Yanus. Easy first kill on that Reinhardt. Florida Mayhem with a good start here in this fight. Corey in a lot of trouble, and he goes down. Yanus had the Earth Shatter, too, and he died, by the way. Extra rough. There's a grab used. All right, that's going to kind of trap Guido, but a bit of an odd grab. They've nearly taken it. There goes Guido now. They've got a chance on some laid low, and they're going to catch Giannis with the two. They're going to take B, and Florida nice. may have managed to do it in the time they had. And they have, cannot count them out yet. And they have 37 seconds left, so they're going to have potentially another attack round here as well. Big. That's huge. And that was that was much better played. And you'll notice that the oh, yeah. EMP was used solely on Giannis on the point. And that's because they knew the only ult up was going to be the Earth Shatter. Honestly, whoever's doing the ult tracking on Florida Mayhem has been on point today. As much as they have stumbled in their execution, they always seem to know what they should do, just not how to do it. Well, that's the puzzling thing about Florida, right? Is that they have rounds like we just saw, and you're like, oh, well, this could be a really good team. But then they have maps like we saw earlier in the series, and it's like, why can't anyone ever follow up properly? <laughs> It's like and everything everything in between fights is actually very good for Florida, but the yeah. actual fights themselves have been somewhat disastrous. But that time, I mean, it's they, encouraging. They get, they get the perfect set of circumstances. Yeah. They fight it right. They play with patience. And it is hard to play with patience in a low time bank situation because you know the clock is ticking. You know the Justice have so much more time in the bank. Very true. 
I always get worried. You know, people on that slippery roof right there. It's kind of <laughs> it's icy. You could fall off. You could. Sorry, there's no something. fall damage. Doesn't matter. Oh, you're right. My bad. This is true. Yeah, you can fall off as many roofs no as you want, really. Yeah. Well, just don't fall in water. I was water say, is deadly. There are definitely times you can fall and die in Overwatch. Just not, <laughs> not many. <laughs> Here we go. Florida Mayhem trying to defend, but remember, a ton of time in the time bank for Washington Justice. They can approach this cautiously and still get a good time. See what they've got in mind here. Going to the 3 3, not using the Sombra. But remember, again, it's on Florida to get that EMP for BQB. Yeah, Justice, they want to start to push forward. They've been pretty good about playing aggressively when the Sombra's on the flank. What they need to do is push on to the five members who are not flanking of Florida. But first, they've got to take off this point. And, uh, oh, Otto not making the jump. Yeah. It's a tough jump to make, but yeah, especially with the, on, guys. Chris's uh, boop coming in, Very repositioning true. them. But at the end of the day, Florida Mayhem do have to actually contest this point. They're giving out slippery. Tick and a half for free right now. Oh, they sent Swan down with the Zarya shield. They're going to separate him. They'll fly down. Uh oh. That's a run for Florida. They responded to the kill into Otto and Janus, though. So Florida with a chance. There goes Corey. Okay, the piece is coming together for the Mayhem, and this is starting to look like a very fast point eight take for them. Corey, he basically did no damage in the fight either. You know, he's up sub 40% right now to a Graviton. Ouch. Florida Mayhem heavily ahead in the ultimate game, except for Apply, who's behind the enemy Brigitte. I mean, this is the ideal situation for a Sombra team on the defense, yes. right? You've got Zephyr close to his grab. You've got BQB really close to his EMP. You should really only need one of those yes. to win a fight. And then you start start swapping. Yep. Uh, you, you want them offset from each other, but it can give you team fight win after team fight win if it's well executed. That's the plan. Everything is set up now. There's an the EMP. Whoa, man. insta gibbed Florida mayhem. Crushing that fight, and they're going to get the stagger onto Sansom as well. Yes, pushing him around a little bit, bullying yep. the poor pilot diva. Oh, there you go. You hate to see it. Draining as much time off the clock as possible. And they have to drain a lot of time off this clock. Yeah, and you can see Zephyr already in position here to get the sneaky Graviton Surge. He can actually just apply it to the back of the wall if Florida Mayhem are coming onto the left, and the rest of the team can just jump on it. So we'll see which side Washington decides to go on. If they go left, yeah, BKB still being annoying in the back they line, go right. too. <laughs> they go right. Yeah, they're going to try and go up around here, but this does mean that the high ground is going to be mostly uncontested. So yeah. the, the odds, like, basically, if you were to head towards the Zarya, you'd be grabbed. If you head this way, you can't control the high ground. So this is a calculated position here from the Mayhem. They're going to try. There's the grab onto the wall, and now Florida dives in. They need to get some kills, and they do on the auto right away. The, high, the hack is well on to Sansa. Forces that D.Va back for just a bit. Florida Mayhem with the 6v5. And now they've got Washington a little bit separated here. All right, Florida now just getting great value of their ult economy. They got rolled in that first defense, but ever since then, the game has tightened up significantly on the side of the Mayhem. Washington trying to put pressure on the point to allow Otto to walk back in again. Remember, he's separated. That Brigida separated from his team. Florida Mayhem will see if they let Otto come in. You can see him in the back there, around the corner. You can kind of see his outline as he's hiding because he's very much on his own sneaking around now oh he's so low though and they use the emp five members of washington emp except for Otto, who backs away and there's corey washington justice they couldn't rejoin their brigida they couldn't sustain in the fight that is so much time taken now by florida I and mean, that's just a great shot call from florida they, yeah they, as soon as they see Otto, they're like oh these guys are alone we'll just emp and kill them yep zone that guy out man yeah it's, it's gonna give me a guaranteed six versus five if they use any support ultimates there. Oh, no. It's going to be a win oh, yeah. if you're the Florida Mayhem. Another stagger onto Sansam. And Is all of a sudden, I mean, Florida Mayhem has been, they've, they've drained two and a half minutes off this clock already. Yeah. I mean, that's what we were saying. Florida Mayhem not done yet by a long stretch here. But now Washington Justice coming in with a lot of ultimates. Florida has a good amount themselves. But at least Washington with a good chance here in this next fight. It's so hard, though, because basically everybody's going to throw ults in. Yep. The support ults are probably going to keep everybody alive, and then BQB just ends the fight with an EMP. Let's see what the plan is. Washington taking the high ground now. Yeah, they want to jump across. Yep. Try and con contest the high ground here. BQB sneaking around the outside. You can see he's very close to that EMP. Leaving hack to get the hack on the Sansa. Yeah, that's right. Florida Mayhem biding their time. They're gonna drop down right. The first tick comes in. There's the grab. They're gonna send Sansa back. Oh, Swan shield out of the way. So Giannis with a big kill there on that charge. 
Now Florida Mayhem, do they respond? What do they dedicate to this? They lose a fly too. I think it might give up A here. Yeah, you lose Zephyr as well. A lot of ultimates burned by Florida. They're gonna have to give up point A. Washington Justice, they are not done yet. 30 seconds more added to the clock, and they're gonna rush B as fast as they can. Giannis once again wades in to cut off trance healing with his Reinhardt shield from Swan, and they know that one elimination is going to be enough, but now they have to fight all the way through B. There's not a lot of time. All right, the grab, Guido responds. Auto down already, it's a 6v5 in favor of Florida. And they don't want to use the EMP here if they can avoid it. Save it for a later engagement. Uh, there goes Corey. You got to back away fast. You have to reset really quick if you're Washington right now. Yeah, you can't lose anybody else either. Zonsub can't afford to be D-Max. It's not, so that's a win for the Justice. Okay. Justice going to be walking in, though, with a sound barrier. Maybe a Graviton Surge, but playing into the EMP is brutal. When, you, when you're in these desperate situations, when you have to sort of just rush the point, it makes it so easy for the Sombra to cut you off with an EMP. Right. I say just jump in that big robot over there and <laughs> take it that way. Uh, easy to take the point yeah. if you could just smash through that building. Stick your arm in there and pinch everybody to death. I don't know. Washington Justice coming around the side. Wait for the EMP right now. That's the key ability. Yep, need to be waiting for it. Coming in on top. Are they going to try to chase him down? Sansom trying to make a play. Yanus will push back. We're going to go into OT really soon here. Time running out for Washington. Sansom is hacked. They're waiting it out. He's low health. The charge comes in from Yanis. He keeps overtime alive. Sansom solo already. There's the EMP. Sound mirror, though, comes in right afterwards. So they get the shield at least. And they have the grab used as well. Now Chris gets his sound barrier out for Florida right in time. Washington Justice no kills from the shadow, but Swan is down. Washington has a shot here. All locked up, and they are getting the kills. Overtime, not expiring yet, and Florida Mayhem could not complete this last fight. They could not capitalize again on that EMP. They didn't wait for the sound barrier, Doa. They used it so early. Fozix gets to be the hero. Well, they're still in it. They're still trying to delay, but no, Washington Justice. They get their fourth point, and we will go to yet another round here. But things have flipped. Now Florida, the team with more time in the time bank. Yeah, that's right. Any time in the time bank, actually. Well, minute 37 here going to be for the Florida Mayhem. So not that much more time compared to a minute here for the Justice. Justice will be attacking first opportunity to take their first win here. Now, remember that Washington Justice have a little bit more leeway because they can draw this and they will still win the series. If they right. get a draw, it is impossible for the Florida Mayhem to come back and score two points to push us into a fifth game. So you can see Corey on your screen there trying to set his team up. A little bit of strategic inspiration, perhaps, as Washington Justice is on the attack with a bit less time in the time bank. Attackers I mean, I, I think this might be difficult. I agree. Because I of the hold here that we saw from the Mayhem, but they are not going to be running in Sombra this time around. They are going to be playing with the Diva for Zephyr and BQB on the Zarya instead. Well, it's just a game of survival for Florida, right? I mean, you just live on the point for one minute and hope for the best, right? Try to keep them from getting a single tick. Five, and try to be aggressive. Three, the two, point A defenses were a little bit shaky from time to time, too, with that Sombra, so I can see why they're doing this. All right, so... Guido going to look for a pick at the start of this engagement. But yeah. Florida not going to be on the high ground. They're playing low ground defense. That's a surprise. That is a very bold move from Florida. Corey a little bit low, though, so Washington needs to hold back for just a second. They tried to get a pick right there and just end the game, basically. But that means, because they didn't get an elimination, that they don't have high ground control now. Yeah. So it's a gamble that doesn't really pay off for Florida. All charge pretty even between these two teams. Nice. Corey booped off the high ground. All right. Giannis jumping down. They're going to try to chase him. Oh, Chris looking for the big boop himself. Pushes Giannis into his team. Can they focus him down? Kido looking for a pick here on the Zephyr. Nearly gets the D-Mech. It's so close. Giannis down as well. Hago putting the other Zenyatta. He found his pick. And Florida Mayhem trying to capitalize on the 6v5. No Reinhardt for Washington Justice now. And they got to get aggressive. Sansom ducks in to get the point. Now it's going to be the Transcendence. Corey does get the kill to Hago put though. So Washington Justice with the response coming in. Maybe a shot here. Corey low and he's down. 
And now it's going to be the Hammond from Janus. Auto down as well, though. So Florida Mayhem getting the kills in the end, getting what they need. All right, apply, caught with that self-destruct. Giannis on his own, though. I don't know, man. I think Florida's got this one. They do. Not a single tick taken by Washington Justice. Florida Mayhem at least has found the draw here, but it's not enough. A draw would still give Washington the win. They need yes. to get that one tick. They need to win the map to stay alive in the series. Yeah, they absolutely do. So Washington, in spite of not taking that tick, not having any control over that point, they still have a chance here. They can play for the draw in order to achieve their first win. And it's not like the Mayhem is going to have a lot more time. Only 37 more seconds. And what are they going to do? Are they going to go for the long flank like they did with a low time bank on their first attack with the Sombra? It was a little close there. You know, we talked about Washington fighting it out until the very end. This is really one of those moments where you, you absolutely need to. You can still win the series. Even though that last attack didn't go well, you can still get the draw and win the series here. Yeah, you're not going to be shaken. It's not... You can't be. You don't have to have a massive effort here with such a small amount of time to defend yeah. on A. So within the, well within the realm of possibility for the Justice, Florida Mayhem still going to be trying to make a comeback in this series. Yep. Ouch. It's got to hurt to run into that thing every single time. I mean, I know he's got armor on, but it's going to get dented. I mean, he runs into walls constantly, so I'm not too worried about him. I suppose. Florida Mayhem on the attack, looking for a single tick, one third of the control meter to win this map and stay alive in the series. Washington Justice, if they can hold and cause the draw on Volskaya, can win the series. They've won two maps already. That's that's going to do it for them. Florida Mayhem looking to try to walk left. They want to take that high ground. All right. Well, they, they see or that not. they're not on the high ground, so now right. they don't care about taking it. Try to rotate the other direction instead because they know they can take it by getting up there with the Lucio and the D.Va. That'll do it. Florida Mayhem starting to slowly walk their way onto the point, looking for openings, looking if there's maybe a chance for Chris to get Giannis out of position here. This is one of those moments where you really want to watch the Lucios. They're going to be trying to bounce the Reinhardts into their own team. Of course, that easy kill. Slow push now for the Florida Mayhem, but only 40 seconds remaining. That's right. Washington taking a lot of time with the clock. Oh, they got Swan a little bit isolated. He gets back to his team, but that was a close call. Swan, he's low, and there goes Zephyr's mech as well. Florida Mayhem in a massive amount of trouble. Washington Justice, they may just have done it. Florida Mayhem going back, but I don't know, man. I don't even know if you can organize an attack quick enough to win this one. I, they can get back, to they, They're going to be able to get back. It's the question so is, hard. how are they going to fight this out? Corey has a Graviton Surge. Ten Evo seconds. with the Transcendence, and they have to just go straight to the point. They got to rush. There's no playing the around has to go to the point now. You got to go right now. Florida Mayhem, they've got all to use Washington Justice with a bit of an advantage. Janus drops the Shatter. No kills out of that one. No stuns even out of that one. And Florida back on the point right now. Fighting for survival in this series. Washington Justice, they just want that one win. There's a grab, there's Tito's chance, there's... Oh, Corey's grab got eaten by Zephyr. That is huge for Florida, and the kill's coming in. They're doing it, the sound barrier. And Florida Mayhem, in the end, have seemed to find what they needed to take Volskaya Industries and keep themselves alive. They'll do it. We're not done yet. Holy moly, I can't believe they got that clutch Graviton negated by the Defense Matrix. We talked about McGravy getting those... Uh, Great Graviton surge oh, of carbs on the no. team, but this time it was Zephyr coming up big for his team, and that one hurts if you're Washington. I mean, you can see Vazix there not looking happy. They're not out of it yet. We'll see if they can dig deep and win it on the next map. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. High ground or low ground, T-Mobile has you covered.
may have thought with such a great early game on Volskaya Industries that Washington Justice had this series in the bag. Turns out Florida Mayhem had other plans. They win Volskaya Industries. They are alive, some sullen faces on the side of Washington, but they're not out of it yet. You can't get too upset about that one. It was a rough loss on that map, of course, but all you need to do is win this map and you're still in. You still get that first win in, uh, in Overwatch League. Yeah, Justice, they have three tries to win one map. So uh, definitely shouldn't be getting too down on yourself just yet. You can win the next one. You can win the control point after that. And, you know, honestly, if you're Justice, going back to control isn't a bad thing. That's, that's yeah. typically been their best map type. So having the tiebreaker on control, certainly something for Justice fans to feel pretty comfortable about. Yeah, obviously they did get the win on Nepal, our control map earlier in the series. I mean, honestly, like the, these games have ended with the team that should be in a winning position <laughs> losing every yeah. time. This reminds so me a lot there's of- There's a little bit of panic going on for sure. Weirdly enough, this reminds me a lot of the Washington Paris match from yesterday too. <laughs> a lot of the maps ended that same way where the team that had the lead kind of just threw it a little bit, we'll say. Yes, Attack it was- That it was is bizarre. the proper word, throwing. Right. <laughs> throwing. And when you play the game of throws, Monte Cristo, you, you die and you pretty much die. There's, you you there's die no, and you lose. There's no winning there. That's right, yeah. You don't want to play the game of throws. <laughs> yeah, you don't get to be king playing that game. No, ever. no, you don't. Nope. That basically uh, Ned Stark and all over the place. <laughs> it's not nope. good. Yeah, not good at all. And we'll see if the defense, however, is going to be solid from the Justice BQB. Back on Sombra duty, so Zephyr taking over on the Zarya here for our first attack round on Dorado. That's right. BQB once again will be looking for those hacks, looking for those EMBs. Washington Justice with a very aggressive defense here on A, actually. Otto gets super chunked out, though. Yeah, no kidding. That was that was dangerous. But Swan a bit low himself, so both teams trading damage. Florida Mayhem still having to play it a bit cautiously, too. Uh, you see, just poking around this corner right here, you want to use these corners for cover as much as possible if you are the defending team. That's the idea. Ooh, Hagopan. I was going to say, he, that was good, good of him to drop back down there because that was a dangerous spot for him to be in. Otto. Sansom's ultimate is charging, in case you're wondering. <laughs> now he's going to raise his APM, in case you're wondering about that. <laughs> he's using his defense matrix. Now. I don't really know how I'm you done. raise your actions per minute in Overwatch. Above oh, you what can. they would currently be. Yeah. Just spam. AD spam, man. AD spam back and forth yeah. forever. That's right. I mean, they're already doing that, <laughs> though, so. That's right. Can't spam crouch like you used to be. You can still AD spam. Florida Mayhem getting aggressive here. Washington Justice have forced him off the payload, but now Mayhem right back on it. Pushing forward here. BQB taking him a while, but he's finally getting close to that EMP. Both Zens have their transcendences, too, though. Transcendi. Is that the plural of transcendence? <laughs> uh, yes, technically that would be a Latin derivative word, so we'll go with that. Okay, yes. <laughs> they're transcendi or red eye. Here we go, some Yannis stuck. Oh no, Yannis hacked and taken out of this mortal coil. BQB with the EMP, setting up a team fight win for Florida Mayhem early on. Swan a bit low, but it looks like they'll be able to keep him alive with a combo of shields and healing. And that's gonna be point A for Florida Mayhem. Yep, just a slow roll. I mean, Florida just taking space, pushing the Justice back inch by inch. And historically, the Justice has done pretty badly against slow pushes because they, they sort of get nervous yeah. and they keep giving ground. Instead of taking a decisive fight, they don't do that. And you have to be able to will, you have to be ready and willing to throw everything in sometimes if you think you have an advantage. Justice is, a, I think they've done a little bit better over the course of this series on that, but. It's sort of like if you just walk at the Justice, if you press W, you know, they're gonna press S, <laughs> is, is the way to put it. That's true. And on payload, that, that strategy is very effective because you just get more and more room. Oh, pressing W now, man. Oh, Zephyr gets his grab eaten up by Sansa. Good start. Absorbing that with the defense matrix. Now they're gonna dedicate the sound barrier to push here, but the big EMP clears out the shields. Oh, you do not want to use that Lucy ultimate before the Sombra ult comes in. And this is exactly why. Yanus down, there goes Corey. That is a zero value sound barrier from Fozix. 
Yeah, that one hurts. So here's the thing, Dawn. That is absolutely the right move. If you see the grab eaten, then you can go ahead and use the sound barrier offensively. Not if they're Sombra. If they're not playing Sombra. There you go. So yeah. if they're playing D.Va, that is, I think that's just like a muscle memory mistake right there, where you see the grab eaten, and you're so yeah. trained, you're ingrained to just say, OK, we're rushing at them with the sound barrier. Now it's safe. It was not safe. No. It was not safe at all. No, the Mad Hacks came in. Washington just a scrambling back again. They've got ultimates, but so do Florida Zephyr now, the one with his grab coming up. Or he has his on board with him at the moment. As Washington tries to push back on the payload, the translocator bumps her. Feature means that locator. Why does it bump? Sounds some self destruct, and no kills on that one. Now the grab comes in from Florida. They're trying to burn through this transcendence from Guido. Push back. Yeah, it's just not gonna happen, right? Yep. Sound barrier. Oh! Oh, Yano's stunned in the middle of his shatter animation. That ultimate canceled. He's gonna try to go with the charge. Does get onto the opposing Reinhardt. Applied down. And so maybe Florida with a chance to push it back. They're giving as much as they're getting here right now, at least. Yeah, you see DQB, he's already planned his escape route. Yep. With that translocator if he needs it, but he's not going to. Well, he'll use it anyway, just to stay safe here. It's going to be another sound barrier from Fozix, but Florida may have pushing through that one. Ooh, that's two sound barriers in a row from Fozix that I do not... You know, if I were rating the world's best sound barriers, they would not be on that list, I'll be honest. Ah, uh, uh, yes, no, the, the nicest king, the way I could of say that. <laughs> that's the nicest way I could possibly say that, Fozix. Sorry. Well, Florida, yeah, they're getting it together the longer this series goes on, and they're putting themselves in a great position. Three minutes left to take this final point, which is challenging even with this much time remaining on Dorado. Yep. True enough. But, you know, if you're going to want to take the third point, which you do if you're on the attack, this is the best place to put yourself, right? A lot of ultimates coming up, a lot of time in the time bank. It's all Florida right now. Grab comes in. They're going to try to win another fight here. They do at least draw Guido's Transcendence here. And remember, that grab, they can use it like that because then the support ultimates get used and then the EMP comes in. Florida Mayhem, they knew the ordering earlier and now the execution is coming onto these ults. It absolutely is. Florida's getting online right now. That was how you want to play that scenario because you can't combo with the self-destruct, the big bomb, when you don't have the diva, obviously. Yep. So you want them to use their support ults when you use the Graviton Surge. That way, you just clean up the fight afterwards with the EMP. However, Justice can have you know, three, four ults available for this next fight. They should be able to hold this. Oh, Swan jumping down, man. Wanted to get aggressive here. Gets caught up in the grab. Graviton Surge charged as well. Ooh, they charged him out of that, but Swan down Washington with a big opportunity here. And hey, what are you going to do? If you use the Brigida armor pack, you don't have any burst healing. Yeah. Like, it was a good solo grab. Back away. You know, coming in from Corey, isolate the one target, and yeah, they, they don't overcommit to using their ult economy. And now they're probably going to have five, six ults online for their next engagement. So well, Washington, you know, they can easily, they're in a position to drain the rest of the time off this clock if they're conservative. A little bit rough to have BQB die at the end of that fight too. That delayed for it a bit more, and more importantly, delayed BQB's EMP. BQB gonna get right back into the mix though. They have enough other ultimates that if they throw grab, BQB should be able to deal enough damage to yep. get his EMP online by the end of the Graviton Surge. That's right. I was just gonna wait for it, actually. Oh, BQB just threatening to push the payload here. Right, there's the grab. BQB still doesn't have his ultimate. They're gonna send in the self-destruct. No kills out of that one. Swan waiting back in. Not a lot of shield yet for him, but he's got the hammer. And they're gonna push Washington away. It's not really gonna work now, Doa, because Guido and Fozix didn't have ults. They still didn't get kills during the grab, so yeah. now they can hide around the corners, not get hit by the EMP, and survive this and hold the rest of the round. Well, that's the idea. Less than a minute remaining for Florida Mayhem. They've got Otto, they've got the 65. We'll see if they can make something happen. Sound barrier used early, and there's the EMP on top of it. Once again, that armor, or that shield rather, cleared by the EMP, and it's gonna be the go button for Florida Mayhem as they clean up the rest of this fight. Graviton Surge used, but Corey's not gonna get much out of that one. Zach is gonna get a lot of damage up in his face, and that's it. Florida Mayhem manages to take it before overtime. And that was, uh, that. Th the momentum has definitely shifted in this series, that's, that's for sure. Otto dying there is, is a crucial mistake and a winnable moment for the Justice. If he doesn't get picked off, if they play a little bit further back and just play around the EMB, they have an opportunity. But when he dies, 
you have to use the sound barrier because you're down a player. Exactly. And then it sets up a great EMP as you have to contest the payload. It just ends up being a disaster for the justice, and it allows Florida to push all the way through the map. Yeah, you can't blame Fozix for that last one because if you're fighting shorthanded, you kind of just have to hope for the yeah, best in that situation. It's, you're between a, a rock and a hack play, <laughs> as you say. Yeah, it's, and it's rough. Like, you, you just need to play back and make sure they don't take that final point. Use the advantages that you have. And instead of positional error, Otto just is out by himself. Yeah. Florida, they see it, they take advantage of it. Easy push through the rest of the map. So Washington Justice getting their time to attack here on Dorado. Oh boy, Dorado. This is the three three again. This is really starting to smell like a reverse sweep, unfortunately. I mean it all it, it looks I mean, Florida has a big advantage, right? So you would imagine it would come down to the control map. Washington did win that one, but again, it just seems like the mental momentum yes. has shifted in the series, and ultimately that's what decides a lot of maps more than anything. Yeah, it's it's the fact that Florida lost the first couple of maps having good ideas and bad execution, and well, I'm not gonna say that execution is amazing right now, it definitely is better. I mean, all you need is good enough at this point, right? And they've gotten that so far. Washington Justice on the attack. So you gotta regroup mentally again. You can't let yourself give up here. It's your last chance to get a win in the stage. You're not out of the Overwatch League, obviously. Neither of these teams going anywhere, but you didn't make playoffs. You at least want to get that win. Yeah, stage playoffs. You still have a chance to make the season playoffs, to have some momentum in subsequent stages down the line. I mean, if you're 1-6 in six or 0-7, oh it's an outside chance, but still it's, a chance. it's tough. It's definitely tough. Yeah. Washington starting to push this around the corner now. Okay, oh, that's a Sansa D Mac. Just getting D Mac. All right. You know, he's been chasing BQB quite aggressively, and I think they're starting to get wise to that. And that's an easy D Mac on him. Hey, it was really just BQB being on the flank right there, and the rest of his team not able to protect the mech yeah. more than anything else. And I guess so. You know, that means he has to go back to spawn, and then he resets his ultimate. Just, he didn't have a lot, but every little bit counts here. Right. Well, you're, you're going to delay that combo, right? That Zarya ultimate combo. Ooh, Chris down. Giannis manages to finish him off with a fire strike. Ooh, he gets another one on to apply. And so now Washington just rolling through Florida. They don't need to use anything there. Just push right on through. And you know what's great for the Justice, though, is because the right. payload was moving the whole time, Florida was trying to wipe. And under normal circumstances where somebody was on the payload, they could make it back for another fight with an EMP. But this time they can't. And so Justice wow. now going to have a lot of time for the rest of this map. Yeah, that's a great start for Washington. Yeah, really heads up play there. I mean, Florida, they had to delay the payload, but because they don't, ends up being a pretty easy cap. EMP comes in. Florida Mayhem still have a lot of tools to try to keep this one held. There's the kill on the Guido, and there we go. Swan walking forward, putting the hammer to everybody. So they do get value. Yep. Out of that EMP, big value, in fact. Everybody hacked except for Fozix. Fozix, obviously, with such a close spawn, not going to be willing to use his sound barrier to protect his teammates. Save it for the next push instead, where they know the EMP isn't going to be there, so it gets maximum value. Won't be erased by getting hacked. Oh, oh boy! Never. Sansom gobbles up another one with that defense matrix. That Graviton Surge not getting anywhere for Florida. And now Florida, they got nothing, right? They, oh, yeah. they have to play back right now, wait for BQB to get another EMP. He's close. Because the cycling is is now, you know, they didn't get anything really. They got a quick team fight win, but with spawns being so close, it didn't end up mattering very much for the Justice. And then Justice win a fight without using any ultimates. Now they have six for this next push. They're looking good. I would say so. A lot of charge on Corey too on that Zarya. Good position to do a lot of damage here. Waiting for that Zarya shield to go down. He's going to throw in the Graviton Surge. BQB eliminated immediately. Nice charge on to apply as well. Hogglebutt goes into the Transcendence, but you just cannot heal through all that damage. And Washington Justice should get most of point B here. Florida Mayhem maybe can get there to contest, but it's a great push so far overall from Washington. And this is the assertiveness we want to see from Washington, right? Yeah. They say, okay, you don't have grab, you don't have the EMP. We need to throw in our grab right away, and that's what they do. Yeah, going forward. Oh, EMP gets used. Self-destruct, no kills for Sansom. 
Guido does get to use his transcendence in Washington. They push through this. They don't mind that EMP, man. They had the healing from the Zenyatta, and they will finish B. Yeah, doesn't matter if you EMP as long as you can ride it out. And they get a split spawn apply That's caught in the forward spawn room after the point is taken. Wow. Over four minutes on the clock for Washington Justice here. More time than Florida Mayhem had in their attack. So clearly, Washington Justice getting a hold of themselves and playing a great round. Yeah, more than a minute ahead right now. Yep. Still, it's difficult to finish Dorado. C is always tough. Sound barrier for Florida as they try to push in here. All right, Fozzik's down. They use Swan's Earth Shatter here, and that's going to mean a team fight win for Florida. So a little bit of breathing room now. Going to get some time to regroup themselves, it looks like. Yeah, they are. Santam was demeched also. That hurts. He was just demeched at the very end. And now, uh, it's going to go ahead and take a dive off the map to get his mech back, rejoin the rest of the justice. It's going to go fishing, I guess. There's all those fishing boats down there? I guess. Even though water is deadly in this world, makes fishing even more dangerous. I mean, if you can land on a boat, maybe. Although that doesn't always work on uh, Rialto, so who knows? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? All right, grab from Florida. Bounce him turning around. Oh, and that's another uh, good group of kills from Florida Mayhem. What do you do there? Yeah, you don't have trance. Yeah. You don't have sound barrier. You get caught. There's BQB behind you. Thing is, with all of that, just now, Washington Justice hitting the amount of time Florida had to take seat on their yep. attack round. Yeah. So many, many opportunities remaining yep. for the Justice. Uh, they probably at this stage, because the payload is at the end of point C, they will have to win two to three fights in order to take it all the way there. So it's still a, it's still a big ask. The MP, oh, Ido. Ido got caught by that one. Ooh, man. I, we said before, if you're Zenyatta, you get EMP. You are not surviving. And you know what's great for the Florida Mayhem is they've kept Keto and Fosix away from having ultimates. And what this yeah. means is that Florida can basically, on this next attack, use Trance and just run at them. And they're not going to have a lot of opportunities. I mean, if they can get the grab out, the Trance is also going to be there to cancel it. I think Guido's going to have his Trance by then, but only just barely. Uh, oh, wow, Yannis turning the shield just in time. That was a good attempt, but Giannis was not being fooled, and now Florida just gets caught up in the grab. Washington Justice. I mean, that's a great move for the Justice. Yeah, they're not going to be that caught. that far forward. If you can focus the target fast enough, Hagapun didn't have the opportunity to trance. He was too far away, so an overly bold play is going to cost the Florida mayhem. I mean, that was a, that was a cute move by Swan, but I don't know if you take that kind of risk right now in this series, this map. Got the grab and the rally, so it's not the worst thing, but now you're in one fight territory. Yep, that's right, rally coming in now for the Florida side. That is a little bit low, tries, ooh, that got a, that shatter got blocked. Hogglepun down though, it's a 5v6 for Florida. They gotta try to fight this one out. Hogglepun had the transcendence too, they needed that ultimate. Oh, it's Zephyr! Oh, Zephyr gets caught at 99%! By that self-destruct, Florida Mayhem falling apart here at the end. Guido with the transcendence and tried to let Chris just chilling out on the payload. Hogglepun jumping in. The UV with the EMP, but there's no one there to follow up. And Washington will finish it with more time in the time bank than Florida. That they will, and we're going to have to go to another attack round. Justice had more time on Volskaya. Couldn't seal the deal. Now's their chance to turn it around and take their first win. Going into extra innings again. We'll see if Washington can finally get that win when we come back. Florida Mayhem on the attack as we go into time bank, and I, I kind of feel like they played themselves at the end of C there. I mean, I mean, Swan, everybody's playing uh, themselves dude, like, today, Noah. Well, I mean, what happens in comms, right? Where like they're ahead, they're like doing okay in ultimates, they've got the advantage, and then Swan's like, guys, I'm gonna go for a six shatter around the corner, and it's like, Swan, no! And then he <laughs> does it anyway. I mean, I really feel that just a team communication issue, because the thing that stopped them was Corey's grab, but if the trance had been there, 
They may have lived through it, right? It could have Maybe. been different, but it didn't look like everybody was quite in position. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. All right, so back to Zephyr on the Diva. BQB switching over to Zarya. Just trying to push this payload as far as they possibly can here in Time Bank. They've only got a minute. You don't get any more time if you take a point in Time Bank on Escort on this game mode. So you just got to get as much distance oh, as you can. Oh, got back. Oh, no. That's the, that's the second time they were able to demech him early on in some of these fights here on A. Florida Mayhem looking like they're going to get some good distance here. Yeah, Janus, he went for the desperation charge. Yeah. And that's not going to pay oh, off now. Oh, go He's going to frag out a little bit. Gita oh, shuts well, him down, but yeah. you know what? He'll take it. He'll yeah. take that one because it's going to be point A now. Should be. Okay, they're gonna have to go back. I and mean, taxi the Zenyatta there. They need this transcendence. And looks like we actually are gonna have a defense here for the justice. They're gonna get back just in time. Or are oh! they? They don't. They don't get back in time. They decide to let t A be taken. They could have been there. That was a decision. So they not, weren't all gonna be fighting. there though. And I think yeah. the risk is that they feed more ultimates over to the Florida Mayhem. Sure. So this is the more conservative call for sure. And I think it's probably the smarter one. Well, they want to fight the more straight up fight. They don't want to fight it all crazy here. Going in, Giannis wastes a shatter into the shield of Swan. No CC out of that one. Florida Mayhem with a chance to respond here. Hoggle Punch Transcendence ready to go. And they just... have to stay on the cart, though. That's the thing. They cannot well, yeah. move off the payload in overtime. Ask Shanghai about that one. They know. You got to stay on that cart. They can't take the high ground like you would normally try to take. On point B, just got to try to keep pushing forward here. Corey, so close to that grab. He's got it now. BQB has his. Who's going to pull the trigger first here? All right, it's going to be the grab from Florida coming in a little bit early here. Now pushing forward, Gido use, Gido uses that transcendent. Corey, he got it, Zephyr. Zephyr managed to defense Matrix. That Graviton Surge, Justice has the sound barrier though. It'll keep them alive at least. But now the engage comes in from Florida. With Zephyr self-destructed, he gets Guido. Are you kidding me? Florida Mayhem continuing to push forward. Washington, they need to make something happen. But now there's Zarya and their Reinhardt are out. Are you kidding me, man? Florida Mayhem, I cannot believe how the fights are going in this series. I don't think I've ever seen two less clutch teams play against each other, <laughs> though. I, yeah, that's one way to say it. <laughs> Oh boy, so now Florida Mayhem, they've got two support ultimates available. They can just stick to this payload because they're going to have so much healing and shield. It doesn't matter. Ultimates are not an advantage in this series. BQB, got to use that grab at some point. There we go, throws it in. Fuzzix down. They're still on the payload, and they're going to take B. Oh boy. What? And they still have Transcendence somehow. They still have it. So they can still heal themselves up on the payload, Swan. Sitting on an Earth Shatter. Corey, can he get this grab up? But the trance is going to get saved for this grab if you're the Florida Mayhem. I don't know, man. Throw out all the rule books. We are not operating on, like, real strategy or time with this <laughs> series right now. Who knows who's going to win this next fight? Florida, on paper, yeah, sure, they've got the advantage. But it all depends on those picks. BQB low right now. they got to get some healing on that Zarya. And that overtime bar expires nearly immediately if you leave, leave the payload. You gotta stay on it. Swan goes for a bad shatty, but he can't get it. Uh, no shatter stuns there, and instead, oh, right. they're gonna keep pushing up. The poke yep. war, they know they've gotta get some more ult charge. Florida's still gonna be at a disadvantage right now. Yep, everyone playing so safe. BQB, oh, they got Giannis! They burn him down, and Corey yeah. with, the tra with the grab, rather. Maybe with all that charge, he can do some damage. But no, the shield is there. And now the sun mirror comes in from Fozix. Remember, they don't have their Reinhardt. For the Mayhem can burn through it. A nice sun onto Otto Swan and the Brigida running into each other. Otto, super low. They get the kill. They got to stay on the payload on the Florida side, though, too. Oh, Big there's shatter. the shatter. That might do it. Self-destruct, though, comes in. No kills for that, though. Janus, low health. He's got his shield, though. He's staying alive. Florida Mayhem trying to just buy time for their respawns to come in that the respawns will be there sooner for Washington. Now Chris, sound barrier for him, giving his team the shield, but it can't save DQB. Don't think he got that one. I go fun with the transcendence. This fight, believe it or not, ladies and gents, is still going. Oh, it's going, Dom, but it's going oh, to be over. I think there it's going to be over. Yep, that's right. That should be about it.
And that's a long push for Florida Mayhem. Hey, man, if you're Florida, you're happy with that. I mean, two thirds of the way you are through so point happy on one minute. That's a yeah. ridiculous overtime push. That's, that's ridiculous on this map. Injustice. I mean, you've set a bar that I don't know if like NYXL could even reach that. <laughs> I mean, it, it's definitely going to be it's definitely going to be exciting to see if the Justice can reach that because we have two <laughs> teams that can go that far. I don't know, man. Chris is obviously very happy there about that, but yet confusion setting at the end. He's like, what? Wait, I is mean, this really happening? It's, I'm confused too, man. It's weird that this map is even this close because when we <laughs> before we started Time Bank, okay? Yeah. The Mayhem had 15 more eliminations than the Justice, and yet they were behind on Time Bank. That is, that's a vast gulf in eliminations like to said, time. Really weird. Everything you know about Overwatch, the meta, ultimate usage, like throw it all out. This is Washington Justice versus Florida Mayhem. <laughs> Anything can happen. <laughs> Truly, nothing makes sense. That's right. Well, what does make sense is them playing BQB on Sombra again, because if I'm if I'm the Florida Mayhem, all I know is I have to have one good EMP and the map's over. So I think this is smart. EMP is a very fast charging ultimate. Yep. As you can see, three teams have completed a reverse sweep this stage. One of them yesterday. Even. Yeah, and uh, jo Justice was one of the teams who have been reverse swept by London. That's right. Three, two, one. Justice Attackers. on the attack. More time in the time bank, but not a lot. See if BQB can make the difference. He has before today. Yep. And Sansam, they really have to take care of his mech. He gets team mech again. It could be the end of Dorado. Ah, uh, yeah. He knows it too. Nice translocator over on the other side. They're going to be able to this is locate to safety. They got to stop that payload at some point, though. Oh, Swan! It's a good read. Yeah, I mean, they, they knew they could just run onto him, and that's exactly what they did. So, Justice with a good start here on A. Uh, BKB's got to get out right now. There's certain triggers that cause teams to make that approach. So, one of them is I think they saw him throw the translocator over to the side, which means if they ran at the rest of the team, that the Sombra wouldn't appear. And right. also, he received the, the armor pack from the enemy Brigitte, which means that the burst heal wasn't available anymore. Yep. So, if they focus the target quickly, they could use that cooldown uh, advantage to their credit. So now they're going to get it through A. And we're going to hit it with 30 <laughs> seconds remaining. Why not? 30 seconds remaining. Florida Mayhem still trying to stop things. They've got the grab now. There's a nice EMP. Oh, boy. That's a problem for Washington. They've got a really, really close respawn, though. So they might be able to get oh, back the DMAC. again. Oh, that's a brutal DMAC. Oh, he's going to have to swap off swap. and back on so they don't have self-destruct. Yep. And there's still a grab for Zephyr. You got to do it, though. You have to. And there's going to be support ultimates for Florida as well coming up now. Washington, they don't want to see that map five. They want to try to keep this one going, but it's going to be so tough. We're into overtime now. Florida Mayhem uses that grab. Can, oh, and Washington. They might not be able to weather the storm. They couldn't keep Otto alive. It's a 6v5. Now for Florida Mayhem. They're going to use that sound barrier. Nice shatter onto Sansa. Gets d -Mex. Washington Justice in a huge amount of trouble. They've got their grab, but no follow about it. The EMP from BQB. Again, setting up the kills, and that should be it for Dorado. We are going to a fifth map in this series between Washington Justice and Florida Mayhem. Fozix doing an admirable time staying alive, but that's a map that will go to Florida Mayhem. We're going to map five. I mean, credit to Florida. They came into back-to-back -back time bank scenarios where they had a disadvantage. They win both of those maps. Well... Control was won by Washington. They got to win another one here. See if they can do it. When we come back, do not go anywhere.
We are back. Welcome to a match that means so little, but means so much at the same time. Both of these teams, <laughs> what an intro. Of, both of these teams eliminated from the stage playoffs. Obviously, they're still in the league going forward, but they're eliminated from the stage playoffs. But yet it means so much because Washington Justice has not yet won a series in this stage. So they really want to just at least leave with one win, not go winless. They've got a chance to do it, but man, Florida with all the momentum coming into this one, down two maps, winning the last two in the craziest fashion imaginable. And we are going to our fifth and final map. It's gonna be a control map. What do you think? Analyze away, man. I mean, you Good have luck. to close if you're the justice. I, yeah. this, is, this is really disappointing to watch because when you're, when you're sitting on Volskaya and you have like five minutes, more than five and a half minutes of time, you have twice the time in the time bank of your opponent. These are scenarios that in this meta, when you can reset your ult economy and everything is about playing around those ults, which can win you games in sure, this case, yeah. because you only have to win the right push. So as long as you manage it properly, it becomes very difficult to lose. And if you have a lot more time and somehow the Justice have been able to do that. You know, at the same time, it really feels like Florida have fixed a lot of the problems that they were showing yep. early on in this series where they were starting to make the plays but just not finishing them. They certainly did that on Volskaya and Dorado. They're going to sub in McGravy now. Thumbs up for McGravy, I guess, <laughs> as Zephyr <laughs> takes a break here. Now, they did play McGravy in the control map early on. They played him on Nepal. They did win one round, but clearly Florida confident in him as their control guy. Well, I think really that control map was at first very dominant from the Florida Mayhem. Sure. And even though I think in both of the second and third points that they had really a, a great opportunity to close, they weren't able to do it. They fumbled their own ultimate economy and that what's, that's what allowed the Justice to get back into the game. So if they're confident that they fixed these problems and they're confident that McGravy is in fact the man here to close out this series, is we'll see Ray on Ilios the man. We'll find out shortly. We're going to Ilios. That's right. Our final map, our tiebreaker in this series that will determine whether or not Washington Justice will get a win in stage number one. They won Nepal. They won that control map earlier in this series. Can they close it out now or will Florida Mayhem complete the reverse sweep? Who knows? I'm not going to predict it. I'm done with those kind of things today. I'm just going to just going to watch. All right. And talk. And talk. I'll talk a bit. Now, BQ, Can't just watch it. BQB back on the Zarya. The gravy, of course, on the diva duties. Yep. Again, we saw him do very well in uh, denying those Graviton searches earlier. Who apply a lot of members of Florida low right now. Corey, by the same token, down about half health. So teams having to approach cautiously. Yeah, you can see a lot of the tanks on both sides going to get slowly you know. chunked out here. Pressure being applied to the point by both teams. Maybe stunned. Ooh, nearly gets D-Mag. Luckily, a Zarya bubble there to save him. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so close. Washington nearly has this one. BQB! Uh -oh. oh, man, got the healing just in the nick of time. Meanwhile, the percentage building for Washington. Corey down, though. But Gravy d mech But Florida Mayhem can still go in on this one. They got that Bunny Blaster. That's still a 6v5. Hago Pun. They're going to throw the grab, actually. They're going for it, man. They're dedicating the Graviton Surge to this fight despite losing the mech for McGravy early on. He's got it back now, and it looks like they may be able to flip this point. It's not actually terrible for the Justice because they got the point. Like, they got 25% of control in yeah. spite of the fact that Florida was the one that had to invest the Graviton Surge. So you're not going to be upset about that. You can bounce we'll back it. right now. Corey can get a grab, and you can take it once again without losing too much. Could be a very different map if Florida had capped first. Right. Both teams are going to have a good amount of ultimates coming into this next fight. The big difference, like you mentioned, Monty, being that Graviton Surge for Corey, the Zarya on the Washington Justice side of things. Washington just rushing the point. They want to try to get there maybe before Florida does. Nope. Florida backing off. Able to get there anyway. I mean, they have a rally, so Corey yeah. has a grab. They can rally into this. There it is. Rally's used. Now they can push forward. Okay. Waiting for that grab. McGravy in position. He eats it! I told you McGravy was in position! <laughs> Corey should have known! That's what McGravy does! Auto down, Florida Mayhem taking away the advantage that Washington had in that fight. And now BQB, the Zarya with the grab. They're not even gonna need it though, as Giannis gets melted. That's gonna be Florida maintaining control. 
Oh my, Doa. I mean, McGreevy there, we just, we talked about his proficiency in gobbling up these Graviton Surges before the match started, and he's really delivered at some important moments. That's right. That's why the grab is in Gravy. <laughs> it's all his. They're gonna use their Graviton Surge now on Washington. Otto taken out with a charge. Sound Barrier now coming in for Florida as they try to complete this fight. Goodbye, Guido. And Florida again keeps the control percent building 80% now. Oh, Washington Justice. They're gonna be able to barely get to this point, looks like. We'll see if they can make it there. They should be able to with 10%, but they're gonna have to rush it. They may have to use Sound Barrier on their approach. They got another grab nope. here. Oh, Guido! No, they're gonna have to fight the 5v6. Tragedy for Washington, gonna try to use the Sound Barrier early on to make this work. The Gravy looking to eat another one of those grabs. Of course, there goes Giannis. Hagaput gets a final blow, but they're back capping. They're taking the point right now, and they manage. Ooh, oh, oh, so barely. Are you kidding me? Sansa nearly the hero there, but that's gonna be it for this one. Florida Mayhem taking the round. They will get the first point on Ilios. The Gravy, the hero of the hour there, but you gotta watch that point, man. You gotta, gotta watch out for the back cap. It's a bit dicey for a second there. I mean, uh, inattention to the point cost him 25% at the beginning, and <laughs> it could have delayed that match. Yeah. Probably still wouldn't have been a win, but Florida, the only thing that they had going against them there was that initial cap. Otherwise, it was all mayhem. I mean, as you look at the, the faces of these players between rounds, too, it's such a night and day difference. Florida Mayhem laughing, joking around. They're having a great time regardless and very serious on the side of Washington Justice. Oh man, McGravy came hungry today, holy. No <laughs> kidding. He wants to eat a, a healthy snack. No junk food for him, it's all carrots, broccoli. All right, and here you go, Fruits. something a bit different. There's gonna be a wrecking ball here for Swan. They're mixing right. it up. It's gonna be You're wrecking ball. With the 3-3. Three, three. Is that the Chengdu Hunters? No, it's Sword of Mayhem. It's one of the Wrecking Ball, though. Nobody knocked up with that uh, slam there. Yeah, the problem is, is that Justice are already on the point together, which yeah. makes this Wrecking Ball a lot less useful. What you want to know. do is separate the enemy. Well, he comes in. It's a big hit. The Gravy, though, gets the mech. That's a problem. The Gravy gets the life. That's a bigger problem. I, this this really isn't going to work. Like, I don't know. The thing about the yeah, Wrecking Ball a... is you use the mobility to separate the enemy on the approach to the point. If they get onto the point, you can't do that anymore, and the strategy becomes incredibly ineffective. I mean, the other, the part two of this strategy is that you use the minefield to cover nearly the entire point because it is Lighthouse. So, Or you cover one of their chokes after you win the first fight yeah. while they're trying to approach. Right. A couple of different options, however, Retaking with the Wrecking Ball, difficult. Oh, and uh, retaking without uh, your Brigida, even more difficult. Florida Mayhem, not looking so good so far on Lighthouse. Washington Justice not getting phased at all by the swap onto the Wrecking Ball. And apply, and have to come back in with the help of the speed boost from Chris's Lucio. And so they're back onto the high ground right now, but the, the Wrecking Ball has been not doing much of anything to this I mean, point. Wrecking Florida a lot more than it's wrecking Washington. It's a nice knockout. Right yeah, but do they get anything else out of it? They do get the transcendence, I suppose. Oh, but Chris taken down by a high energy Corey. This is weird. It, it is it is weird. I mean, Hakapun, like they could have engaged that with the rally or with the transcendence, but instead, Chris, who doesn't have the sound barrier available to him, gets lasered down by Corey. So still a stronghold from the justice though. They're spread out. The, the knockups, the pile drivers haven't been doing much. Here we go, minefield. Minefield, knockup, a lot of people in that minefield, but they've got the shield to keep everybody alive. So in the end, the minefield not really doing anything for Florida Mayhem. They've got the grab now. This is what they need to get some kills out of. It's gonna be the transcendence though. Coming out, self-destruct. No shield means no life for Swan and Hagokan. And Florida Mayhem, it's too late to switch now. You tried your strategy. The wrecking Ball wrecked themselves. And Justice played against it well, right? They saved yep. the sound barrier for the minefield. It was a very slow building ultimate. Hagabun gonna change over to the Ana. Apply now on the Tracer. BQP right. trying to doom this his way to success. And he got the, uh, the, the uh, grenade. No, you don't. He's dead. Guido got a kill. Washington Justice looks like they should have no problem at all holding this one. The shield comes in. It's gonna need to be an insane play, and it's not. BQB insta-stunned as he tried to make something happen on the point. They do lose Otto. Swan trying to stay alive, though. It gets stunned immediately from the Earth Shatter, and that's gonna be round two going to Washington. Convincing. 
That was bizarre, but Washington handling it well. They made the right adjustments. I think that that was a comp Florida should have stopped using after their first push. They didn't do it. Absolutely. And Justice, they communicated well. They played against the wrecking ball well, and they just clean sweep point number two. And now this is it. Yeah. One point is all that stands between the Washington Justice and their first victory. It all comes down to the well. Washington Justice, their stage on the line. They do not want to go 0-7. And the only thing standing between them and the win is Florida Mayhem on the well on Ilios. Sounds like something from Clue, but no, it's Overwatch. <laughs> Somebody still dies at the end, though, just like uh, Clue. That is true. Or in the beginning, I should Arisa say. Arisa with the halt in the well. <laughs> no Arisa, no Arisa this time. time, though. No, you're right. I knew you were going to say that. Auto on Prakita. It's going to be the Winston 3-3. Coming up for both teams here is Swan and Giannis changing things up a bit. All right, both teams are trying to take cover right now. Yep. Jump in from Giannis. Cooldown for Winston jump still available on the side of the Mayhem. Point available for capture. And now the team is resuming poking at each other. Washington's been getting these points early on. Florida Mayhem's have a, a very hard time being aggressive early on in these. They're trying to change that now. Swan a little bit low, oh, oh, Swan! Swan dive as he's taken out early. And that's going to be Washington Justice taking control of the point. Nobody the there to help Swan. Yeah. Rest of his team behind cover. They didn't have any cooldowns, and he was just lasered into oblivion by Corey. I think Washington's gotten control of the point first pretty much every round they've played so far today. They have, but looks like they might remain in control of this one, unlike last time. Have to play around a Graviton Surge. So BQB, no energy on Zarya to deal a lot of damage, but does have the ultimate. Yeah. They can get a good grab. Then they can maybe flip this one before Washington gets too much percentage, but Washington, they're going to be fighting like crazy to save this one. All right, there's still a Transcendence up for Washington, too. They should be yeah. really comfortable right now. The engage from Swan. They're going in. Grab, maybe not. BQB isolated. In a lot of trouble, he's going to use that grab. Oh, Sasha made it. Sasha defense, Matrix, and grab. And now the Graviton Surge coming in from the Washington side. And that's going to be a problem for Florida Mayhem. Washington oh, Custom boy. winning another one, and they are over 60%. They can taste it. They are so close to their first win. They are, but Florida Mayhem have a real opportunity to cap here. Before this ends, you look at the ultimates available. Giannis can still make some huge plays of the Primal Rage. If he can get an environmental elimination, push somebody into the well in the center of the map. But with the, the sound barrier still there for the mayhem, as well as the rally, the engage should be pretty strong here from Florida. Yeah, that's right. Washington just have to, has to keep winning these defensive fights. Sound barrier. Gravy has to use the self destruct. Oh, yep. oh boy! And apply knocked off the edge. Hoyo oh, been taken up by Giannis as well. You know, pace for its one using his primal rage. The 98, 99. We are in overtime. Washington Justice on the verge of in the last round of the last map of the last series. They do it. They finally get a win here in the Overwatch League. The team congratulating Otto. He has waited a lot longer than the rest of the guys on that team to do it. You really love to see it. A player like Otto, never before having been a winner on this Overwatch League stage. And now he gets it. Hashtag justice for Otto. It's the Washington justice. <laughs> as Otto finally, after so many tough times on Shanghai, moves to Washington, gets the win in the last match on stage number one here at the Overwatch League. What a series that was. Coming down to the wire, but Washington takes it in the end. How about that? There you see both teams they get, still smiles on their faces. Big congratulations oh, yeah. to Corey coming in from McGravy. It was a fun series either way. And you know, like I said, both teams already out of playoff contention. Stage one, just kind of playing it out for pride. Meanwhile, we've got Danny with Otto ready for an interview. Let's hear what he's got to say. Thanks, guys. I am here with Otto from Washington Justice, Blizzard Arena. Everybody, give it up for Washington Justice. They have done it. They have secured their first ever win in the franchise. Otto, 
Could this be a turning point for Washington Justice? 자, 드디어 월터 팀이 해냈습니다. 어, 워치 리그 시즌의 첫 승리 너무나 축하드리고요. 어, 이게 좀 어떻게 이번 승리가 워터 팀의 좀 어, 전환점이 될수 있는 터닝 포인트가 될수 있는 계기라고 아도 선수 좀 생각을 하시나요? 어, 일단은 저희가 또 이겨본 적이 없기 때문에 저도 그렇고 그래서 어, 네, 뭐그 저희 분위 저희 팀적인 분위기 자체가 바뀔 것 같긴 하고요. 그리고 그 하고 싶었던 말은 그 위자드 형 너무 고생해줘서 많이 고맙고 원래 그 지면 울 울라 그랬거든요. 근데 그네 근데 이겼으니까 웃을래요. Are you, are you done? 다, 다 끝나셨나요? 네. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, um, we've never won, so um, you know, I'm really happy for this win. And also, the one thing that I really want to say is uh, to our coach, head coach, Wizard, uh, thank you for all the hard work and effort you've put in. And give me one second, guys. 마지막에 Wizard 형한테 얘기를 하고 또 마지막에 또 뭐라고 하셨죠? 마지막으로? 어, 원래 지면 울려고 했는데 이겼으니까 웃을래요. So uh, we were plan. I was actually planning to cry if we lost today, but I'm going to smile because we won. All right. <laughs> and also talking about winning, Otto, um, on a more personal level, you've played extremely well today. And also, this is your first ever win in the Overwatch League ever. How are you feeling right now? 자또 이제 팀의 첫 승리이기도 하지만은 또 우리 또 아도 선수의 오버워치 리그 인생에서 또첫 승리이기도 하잖아요. 거기다 또 오늘 또 너무나도 좋은 모습 많이 보여주셨는데 아도 선수 소감 한 말씀 부탁드릴게요. <웃음> 어 일단은 솔직히 경기를 제가 지금 딱 사, 37번째, 그러니까 37번째 경기를 하고 처음 이겼는데 솔직히 좀 많은 연패를 하고 나니까 아 제가 재능이 많이 없구나 야, 나는 못 이길 것 같은 선수다 약간 이렇게 많이 느꼈었는데 그냥 너무 팀에서 고생해준 위자들랑 우리 팀 멤버들도 너무 고맙고 그리고 재능을 물려주신 우리 부모님 너무 감사합니다 All right, give me one second guys. I need to, I need to wrap my head around this. 처음에, 처음에 뭐라고 했죠, 처음에? Yeah. Oh. oh, so um, first of all, uh, this my this is our this is our first this is my personal first win after uh, losing 37 times. This was our 37th match, um, so I'm really happy with that. And also, I want to thank not only Wizard but also all of our teammates uh, for helping uh, helping me get this win. And last part was uh, teammate had to come up with the last word. The 재능을 물려주신 저희 부모님께 진짜 정말 감사합니다. And I really really want to thank my parents for giving me this ability and this talent that I have to perform on this level. Thank you guys, everybody. Give it up for Otto one more time. Back to you guys, casters. Thank you, Danny. How about that? Always awesome to see the, uh, the parents supporting the, the players as well. Too. That's, a, that's a valuable thing. Well, Otto, too, you know, he wasn't a bad player on the Shanghai Dragons. Had some very impressive no. Genji plays. So uh, definitely, I think, one of the bright spots of this Washington Justice roster. And hopefully, we'll get to see some of his specialty heroes uh, as we move forward in the Overwatch League. Yeah, wow, what a crazy series. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from that last half. It was, it was pretty insane. And, you know, it seemed like it was going to be all Florida from the beginning, right? Uh, I mean, from the beginning, it looked like on paper, if you looked at the ult economy in those matches, that yeah. Florida should have been the winner of a couple of those maps. But Washington, you know, they pulled it out. And in the end, Washington was at a point in map five here where they had to win two points in a row. And they don't give up any percent either on the last two points. So right. they really came in strong. Well, it really reminds me of the first control map. Honestly, it was the same uh, story on Nepal, right? That was where, a really clutch play. Absolutely. Where, you know, it was Florida winning the first round, but then they couldn't seal the deal. Washington yep. Justice winning the last two rounds in both control maps today. But now, I think it's time to find out who our opponent by HP MVP is. You guys ready? It is the one, the only, it's Guido. That's right, going from a DPS MVP in Korea to a support on Seoul Dynasty to now Washington Justice finally gets the MVP. I think his transcendence is, we've criticized the Zenyatta ults a lot in the past and for good reason, but he had a solid day. I mean, a lot of what he was doing was just avoiding EMPs. Uh, yeah. He's a lot of the reason why the Justice were able to stay in fights when the EMP was available. He'd be hiding around corners, making sure that he had the extra healing to dish out to the rest of the members of his team, which caused some pretty important holds. You know, Genji has those ninja skills, and he played a bit of Genji in the past, but he needs to translate those ninja skills over to Zenyatta this time. Avoid those EMPs. Lots of healing done. Holy cow. Well, after five map series, going yep. basically every round possible. <laughs> Why not? But that was a pretty sick match. Thank you for watching, guys, especially if you're on the Disney XD channel. Appreciate you. Looking forward to seeing you on the next one. For the rest of you, don't go anywhere. We've got Houston Outlaws versus Atlanta Reign coming up on the Overwatch League. It's the last day of stage one, guys. Don't go anywhere. Lots more Overwatch coming up right after this.
The Overwatch League is brought to you by Toyota, official North American partner of the Overwatch League. Toyota, let's go places. 